Hey folks, this is Vincent Adderley with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Dice Throne Adventures. This is a cooperative game. We did an unboxing video already, so if you want to learn more about what's inside the box, go check that out because it is a huge, huge game. So we are new to this, um, however, we decided to pick two complicated characters. Um, this is the Artificer. Um, what attracted me to this guy was the fact that I can build bots and do all sorts of cool things. And she is playing as Seraph, who looks like some kind of healer slash cleanser of sorts. Uh, so be really curious to see how this combination works out. We are embarking on scenario number one. And the scenario one is a portal crawl. The way this game works is um, players will alternate uh, one, three, five, and seven, I believe, are all portal crawls. That's where you're going to be going through a dungeon and fighting monsters, trying to reach the last tile. Um, but in order to even unlock this tile to begin with, you have to pick up these three pieces along the way. So we'll be trying to get to these three pieces to unlock this final room. And we get there, we beat the boss, and well, the minion boss, I guess. And then we're able to move on to scenario two. And on the even scenario ones, where scenario is two, four, six, or eight, you're going to be fighting an actual boss. There is no dungeon crawl. And it would look more like an actual game of Dice Throne, where it's more like a 1v1. But in this case, it's like a team battle kind of thing, where two people will be teaming up against a very powerful boss. But in this scenario one, um, there are four of these scenario one cards. You draw one at random. And then you set up the board as is shown on the card. Um, we are also given some of these salves at the beginning here. It actually tells us during setup how to do that. Distribute two starting salves amongst your team. You also set your starting health and your starting gold. Because this is our first time playing this particular rendition of Dice Throne, we gave ourselves more health. Typically, we're only supposed to start with 18 per player, but we're starting with 25 just to make things slightly more casual. From what I hear, this game is pretty brutal, so we might die anyway. Um, upon conclusion of the scenario, whether you defeat it or, uh, you know, actually, if you, if you get defeated or if you beat the scenario, you'll be able to draw more cards and buy them and purchase them and then add them to your deck so that you can become more powerful for future scenarios. It's really cool. Even if you lose, you're still going to draft new cards to make yourself more powerful. So win or lose, you'll always go into the next encounter stronger than you were before. There's also these king hand tokens. Uh, this is like a way for the enemies to cheat. Certain elite enemies and bosses have these king hand tokens that allow them to make you re-roll dice or if they, if they whiff, they can possibly get another offensive roll phase, that kind of thing. But yeah, this is a cooperative game. We're going to be going through this dungeon, trying to uh, unlock this room and, and win. Along the way, we're going to be picking up various loot. Um, there is a loot table, so whenever we collect a chest from the environment, both of us will roll a die and we'll each receive individual rewards. So if I rolled a four, I would get a plus two token. If I picked up this green one, for example, she would benefit from it as well. I would, if I rolled the die and I rolled a four, I get a plus two uh, token. And if she rolled a 10, she would gain two health. So anytime a player picks up one of these chests, you're going to roll for loot, but both players get the reward. Um, so you're going to be rolling loot die individually, which is kind of cool. There's also a boss loot table as well, but again, the boss is for scenarios two, four, six, and eight. Well, more for two, four, and six. I think eight is the final, final, final boss. Um, at the conclusion of the scenario, win or lose, there's also this market of sorts. Um, we can come here to buy cards from the market to add to our deck, and if we've collected cards along the way, they remain face down and unidentified. And sort of like in action RPGs, you have to identify cards. And once you do, you can add them to your deck. So we'll be earning cards in that manner as well. The enemy has loot or uh, special chaos dice that they roll. So um, we're going to set these dice aside until they need to come out. But um, this is how the enemies actually do damage to us. They've got their own set of dice to worry about. Um, off to the side that you can't see, there's a bunch of these various minion cards, level 1, 
level two, level three, and then finally, whoop, weren't supposed to see that, level three, and then there's the level four uh, boss for that character, well, boss, minion, whatever you want to call him. Um, he also, uh, the enemy has these health trackers and com uh, combat point trackers that we'll be using as we go. There's like five of them in the box, which is kind of cool. So we're using one for health and one for combat points. Combat points won't really come up unless a card ability says it's needed. Uh, most of the time, these monsters' CP won't be observed, but on occasion, we may have to refer to it. Um, what else am I missing? Oh, also... We're not using this because there's only one sheet and I don't want to mess it up. I'd have to print some off, but this is a way to keep track of your score as you play the campaign. So there's like 20 sessions that you can play, for example. There's only eight scenarios, but the game takes into account that you may lose from time to time. So you would be recording, you know, your starter selves. You start with two um, remaining selves at the end of the scenario, assuming you beat it. Uh, unspent gold, unclaimed boss loot. Unclaimed boss loot is only for scenarios 2, 4, and 6, and 8. Explored all tiles, so there's actually a reward for exploring everything, if you're keeping score, that is. Um, and then you start adding up your scenario scores as you go, win or lose, and then you get a final score. And all that really does is that's just, a, that's just bragging rights. It's just a way for players to go online and say, hey, I got 200 or whatever it is, you know. Um, because we're sort of cheating a bit by giving ourselves more health, it wouldn't be fair to really keep track of it. It's just, yeah. But and you could do that if you wanted to. With that being said, I think let's just give this a try and see if we like it. Um, would you like to go first? Um, um, on a player's turn, technically you're supposed to roll dice and see who goes first. You just want to do that? Sure. Five and eight, you go first. Okay. All right. <laughs> so on your turn, you're going to force, you're forced to move either to help your friend out in combat or to explore a new tile. You never go to, there's no wasting turns in this game. You're always, you always have to do something is what it comes down to. Okay. Um, so I guess the question is where, where do you want to go? To like, the left. Left. Okay. So you're this character here mm -hmm. and this tile is the Desert of Salt. You, um, there's no, nothing to resolve here. Sometimes there are things like at gain CP or gain a gold. In this case, it says spawn a green enemy, or you could roll a die. On a one to three, spawn a blue minion, which is like level two, that's even harder. Or on a four to six, gain two gold. Uh, we start with 10. If you want to take the risk and try and get more gold without fighting anything, you could try that, or you really going to do that? Why not? <laughs> the level two is harder than level one, but okay, you go, you, you do you. Oh, it's a, is that a, it's a six-sided die. Oh. And that's an eight-sided die. <laughs> yeah, it's it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. It's a two, <laughs> so that means you're going to be fighting All a monster. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so spawn a blue monster. So I am going to pick one <laughs> out of here, and it is a yokai. <laughs> Like, Yo we haven't seen any of those before. Yo okay, Phasmophobia, all those uh, horror games that we play online. There's <laughs> yokais. Um, as a reward, if we beat this guy, we get uh, to roll the blue loot uh, for the blue loot. Okay. He is trying to roll four of the swirly dice. Uh, there's uh, these swirly symbols. It looks like there's a one in three chance. The four and five for him has that swirly symbol. He's aiming to get four of them. And if he dies, he rolls a die and different things happen. Nasty. Um, passively, if he fails the roll, he inflicts silence and hex on you. Uh, he does get defensive rolls whenever you attack him, assuming that he can defend against them and so on. So he does a lot of life stealing from the looks of it. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. so I'm just going to put that up here. He has 11 health, so I will put this at 11. Right. Can I see the card? Yeah. I'm just curious to see what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Okay, cool. Yep. <laughs> so he does not have first strike though, which means you get to go first. Okay. Do I gain any CP, draw a card? Yes. Yeah, so you start in the typical game of Dice Throne, a player starts with two command points mm -hmm. and four cards. Now we're going to start a normal Dice Throne turn. And here's a if you ever get lost, mm -hmm. this is telling you what to do. 
Uh, you can spend salve if you want straight away. Mm -hmm. Then you move, which you did. Then you explore, which you did. And now we're in a battle phase. So you would do your regular dice thrown turn as normal. So to answer your question, you would gain one CP mm -hmm. and you would gain one card to okay. add to your hand. And you can only have up to five or no, seven? There's no hand limit as far as I know. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I will do this. Put a little off center. I will spend, oh wait, um, this is only blue card phase, right? So where's your little guide card? I don't know, it should be, oh, right here. Yeah, there should be one in your, yeah. Yeah, okay, so we're in blue phase right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. So you I'll... did your income step already, yep. I'll roll one die. So you played Vegas Baby for zero CP, so you're gonna roll a die. And you're going to gain half of what is rolled in CP. Oh. You got a one, so you get one. Okay. So this goes into your discard pile. That's like the worst roll. <laughs> All right, discard pile. Um, I will do spend one CP. To draw two to cards? draw two cards. Okay, so that goes into your discard pile. That is uh, yes. double up. Yes. And... Um, Okay, um, I will spend two more CP, so now I'm down to one to upgrade my defensive. Ooh, so let's see what that is. Angelic Mantle. So, Angelic Mantle, um, I don't know what it was before, but I'm guessing it's, you're going to be updating, yeah, so you roll a die, and if you roll, depending on what you roll, you gain different benefits. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, if I'm going too quickly, folks, just pause the video and you can read this in greater detail. All right, so you're going to add this here to replace that inherent ability. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's, it's more for defense, so. Yeah, it seems like a lot better, too. Okay, oh. and that's it, and then I'll just go. Okay, so now you're to your main combat offensive roll phase. Okay. Come on, all sixes. <laughs> He's got 11 health and 1 CP if, if necessary, but... Okay, so you got a five, one, five, five, six, and you get two re rolls like you do in the regular dice throne game. Okay, um, this if choose a player if that player is an opponent, deal five undefendable damage. Now, when it says choose a player, yes. So if player. you read the rest of it, otherwise that player heals for four. So you could target me. And since I'm not your opponent, yeah. you would heal me for four. But you can target the minion, right? Right. Okay. Um, I mean, you could even target yourself too. If that player is an opponent, choose a player. That could that, be, that could be yourself. yourself. So you could heal yourself as well. I would yeah. <laughs> Additionally, you may remove a status effect from that player. Okay. So I don't need health right now. So if, it's yeah. up to if you just want to do pure damage or if you want to try and rule other things. This is what you have right now. Five, five, six, and I don't know if there's anything better than this. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I'm going to use my second reroll and just roll this. All right, just to see what you get. Yeah. Okay. Two and a six. Mm. Just for the fun of it. Okay. <laughs> Four. Okay. <laughs> okay, anything there? Uh, no. Four, five, six, and then you've got these three, which could activate Purify. If you yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. Okay. If that, so choose a player. You want the yokai? The, the yokai. So it's five undefendable damage. Now, because it is undefendable, he doesn't get to roll for his uh, defense roll. Yeah. So he is just going to take uh, five damage. So 11 minus five is six. So six. There we go. So he's down to six health. So you did some decent damage there. Uh, this does not go... Okay, there we go. Sometimes these wheels are hard to turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anything else? You're on your um, You're on your second main phase at yeah, this point. I think I'm good. I think okay. I'm... And then discard... Oh, there was a discard step. Is that seven? Yo, sell all cards beyond six. Yeah, so six is your hand limit. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so now the yokai will fight back. Here's a quick look at the... Portal crawl turn order in case anyone wants to pause the video 
and read more about this. Um, so first strike only if applicable. So we're at the minion step right now. See minion step in rulebook. The minion will now try to do damage back to you. And again, it is going to try to roll for its roll objective on the bottom of the card, which are these four swirly things. So just in the sake of expediency, I'll just do that real quick. Mm -hmm. He rolled one. He gets two re-rolls just like in the other game. There's two, and hopefully he's, he just needs two more. No, he did not pass it. Okay. So passive is on a failed offensive roll, inflict silence and hex. Okay. So he is just going to inflict these two things on you. Yep. And if we want to see what those are, yep. in the back of the rule book, let's first check out silence. Silence says a player afflicted with this token may not activate their small straight or large straight abilities. At the conclusion of their turn, remove this token. So it's only for one turn you cannot use a small or large straight. And the hex is whenever a player afflicted with this token rolls a six, it's as if their die has been altered to a blank die face that has no value. Interesting. At the conclusion of their turn, remove this token. Um, so these two will go away on their own automatically at the end of your next turn. Mm -hmm. This one prevents you from using sixes on your dice faces. Okay. And this one prevents you from using your small straight and your large straight abilities. Mm. Okay, so this token may not be transferred by any means, but can be removed. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so that ends uh, your turn, and now I get to go. Now, on my turn, I could totally go off in a different direction if I wanted to, or I can join her, which I will, on this tile to help battle the yokai. Mm. So um, I am going to gain a CP at the beginning of my turn, and I will draw a card. And let's see what I have. Okay, so out of these cards... Whew. Um, upkeep phase. During your upkeep phase, gain a synth. Okay, so I get synth tokens. Cool. Okay. Um, you may spend four synth at any time to inflict nanite on your opponent. And we'll get into nanites later. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually looking at one of these two cards. Um, this one is great for during your upkeep phase. Um, that would be great for future. Um, hmm. That is something to think about. Um, yeah. We're in the main phase. That would have to take effect for next turn. I kind of like this. This gives me the ability to possibly gain more synth. That's two CP. I have three. What sucks is I'm, I'm, I'm torn between this and this. This one is build an advanced bot of any type or upgrade a basic bot. That's only useful if I have a bot in the first place. And this is gain three cents and deal eight damage. I'm really, I don't know. All right, you know what? I'm gonna, up, I, I, this is like a 50-50 shot of gaining two synth every turn. This one is more, I don't know, it's just an upgrade of something already existing. So I'm gonna spend two CP to, uh, I'm down to one. Assuming I can rotate this wheel. All right, there we go, one. And Eureka goes over this Eureka. So I'm, I'm covering up Eureka, gaining Eureka 2, and a new ability, Scratch, built down here. I have one CP left. Um, I have a Vegas Baby, which is free. I think I just might play that, because free CP, why not? So I'm going to play that and discard it. And I get to roll a die and gain that value. I got a 4, so I gain 2 CP. So I'm back up to three. Um, I'm just going to spend the two that I just received on Scrap Collector and upgrade this ability here so I don't have to touch this dial. Um, I have a zero CP card as well. It says roll a die, gain on a wrench symbol, gain two CP, on a gear, gain synth, on a lightning bolt, inflict nanite on a chosen opponent. Um... I don't know. I kind of want to wait until I... I don't want to inflict Nanite on this character when I don't want to. Yeah, you know what? I may wait on that. Although, that's a six. You know what? I will go ahead and play that now just to get it out of the way. So, it's a free card. Roll a die. 
and it's six. Okay, well, <laughs> it was cocked. Do you want me to re-roll it? No, it's fine. Okay, six, inflict nanite. So it's kind of useless because I don't have... These nanites will sort of just hang around them. They have the ability to remove them on their upkeep phase if they roll well, but typically I can cause them to explode with a particular bot that I don't have yet. So the nanite is kind of useless for me right now. And I think that's it. So now we're going to go into our offensive roll phase. Um, I've got one synth, so that's not enough. I need more synth. Synth are used... Didn't I have another die somewhere? I have four here. Up there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Six. So I've got six, six, four, four, and three. Um, tempting, build an advanced bot of any type or upgrade a basic... To Actually, if I can get another wrench symbol, that would be really good. Um, if I can get another wrench symbol, I can just build an advanced bot without having to do anything. Um, yeah, I'm really tempted to do that. Just bypass the whole bot. So the way bots work, I gain synth, and using synth, I can uh, build a basic bot for two tokens. And then upgrade a basic bot to advanced uh, by flipping the token over. But I'm assuming that Eureka just lets me bypass the whole basic stuff. I'm looking to see if anything here allows me to... Yeah, I don't see anything here that says I can't do that. So I might just roll for just building a bot and getting my economy going. Mm -hmm. So that means I'm going to re-roll these two lightning bolts. Because they're really not doing anything for me right now. And there's my other wrench, and there's that. I actually have enough for Eureka 2 as well. Gain 3 synth, and then deal 8 damage. <sighs> Would that flat out kill him? He has a defensive roll. Mm. However, I mean, still steal 1 health per... Mm. It's possible that I would probably kill him outright. Or 3 synth. I could, I'd hate to waste this ability not to build. You know, I think we just need to kill him. Actually, see, I can, I can just build a bot and be done with it and prepare for the future. Or I can just finish him off and gain three synth or try to finish him off. This is too good to pass up. I'm going to do gain three synth because I can use those synth to buy a bot anyway. So I think I'm going to do that. So um, I'm going to activate Eureka 2. Gain 3 synth, and then deal 8 defendable damage. So I'm going to gain 1, 2, 3. So I have 4 synth now, and that does 8 damage. Now he's going to roll 3 dice to try and defend that. So, and let's see what he gets. Alright, so was there anything interesting here? Oops, I just destroyed the nanite that was on him. Um, steal 1 health per swirly rolled. Uh, so this is number four. He rolled one of those. So he's going to steal one health from me. However, I mean, I lose a health from that. And he gains a health from that. But my seven damage, to, or my eight damage to his seven still kills him. Mm -hmm. So he's dead. And this nanite comes back to me. And I'm not done yet. I, I'm technically still on my... Actually, I'm on my offensive roll phase. I can still do my main phase mm -hmm. and build a bot. Uh, my second main phase. But let's resolve this real quick. It's reward two. So we're both going to roll our loot die. And let's see what we get. I got a 13 and you got an 18. Okay, so according to the loot table, your 18 is a common card. And the way that works is it's going to remain unidentified for the rest of the scenario until at the end, if you can choose money to identify it or you can just sell it for five. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to take a card out of here. Let's see. I think this is a green one. Yeah. Okay. So this slides under here. The first column under here is for common. Okay. Assuming it doesn't get caught on the felt. Or Yeah, there we go. So just remember that you have this. Okay. So it's, you, you found loot, but you don't know what it is yet. Mm -hmm. And then mine was a 13, was it? Mm -hmm. uh, so that's two gold. And this is a shared thing too, so we both have 12 yeah. gold. At the end, by the way, we each spend gold equal to this individually. Mm -hmm. So if we end the scenario with 20 gold, I have 20 to spend, you have 20 to spend. Okay. We don't split it between us. Okay. So we're contributing to like a greater 
pot, whatever. Um, so this is this is dead. So if two people are attacking one enemy, they both get the loot. How would it, 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 it's regardless of where you are. Oh. You both get the loot. Oh wow! Okay. Anytime you roll the loot die for a chest from a card or from a token, both. you both roll the loot die okay. and you get individual rewards. Cool. Um, so that's done. I'm still on my second main phase. So I'm going to build a bot, and to do that, uh, two tokens. Build a basic bot, placing it on the artificer. So I'm going to spend two of my synth to build a bot. The question is, what bot do I build? Do I build the heal bot, or do I build the shock bot? Um, I kind of like the, the heal bot, but um, the shock bot does decent damage as well. There's an advanced side, and there's a basic side for these bots. This is just extra damage, which is kind of nice. The heal bot, the heal bot only kicks in. Here's a quick look at the different bots. The nano bot explodes nanites on enemies. The shock bot just does extra damage once you activate it, and then the heal bot kicks in if you take six or more damage, but it doesn't kick in any other time. And you have to spend synth two, two, and two in order to activate these things. So I'm gonna go with the shock bot to start for extra damage, and then maybe I'll do the heal bot later because it's more situational. At least with this, I can activate it and do an extra three damage whenever I feel like it, assuming I've got the synth. Um, I can also, if I wanted to, spend another two to just get the heal bot, but then I'd be out of synth to spend for either of them. Maybe I'll just wait on that. Okay, so I think I think that's it for me. I kind of want to upgrade this as quickly as possible. Um, so my main phase is done. I'm going to discard down to uh, six, which I don't have to worry about. And I think that's it. So I think it is now back to you. Do these tokens go away or do they stay? At the begin, at the, um, I think that was at the conclusion of your next turn. Oh, okay. So you're going to move and do something, fight possibly, but at the end of your turn, they'll go away. So you cannot use these. Those will be observed in your next battle. I see. Mm. Okay, let's go for two. Really? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go this way. Um, first, we're going to get the salve. That's you. That's your thing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> salve, and we roll the loot die for the two. Oh, so we get those first. Yes. We, we always do the... Yes, yeah, so go ahead and roll. I got a 10, and you got an 11. So again, the loot table. Where did I put it? To the left, maybe? Yeah, there it is. There's a lot of components. So the 10 is uh, three health for me nice. and one gold for you. So I get three health, so I'm up to 27. You don't heal for it. It's a max. Is there is no max. Is? Oh. Um, and then up to three. Cool. Up to 13. Nice. Okay. Now we turn this over and explore it. Mm -hmm. Storefront, uh, there's a blue enemy here. Uh, you may pay three CP to gain another blue loot crate thing. Damn. If desired, you may sell cards at this time. Ooh. So if there's a card you don't want to get CP, but you'd have yes. to sell two of them. Now, do I take my turn in order? So that means I get an a CP or is that like no 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 that's you're there? not there yet Damn. we're observing this first okay you don't get your free CP <laughs> in card draw you resolve this first and then you spawn the monster I'm selling these two to get three and then I'm spending everything to get another loot up. okay that affects both of us then yes. I th actually <sighs> it should yeah I thought that yeah, all right, fine. For the sake of expediency, we'll just do it. I, I could have sworn that these are individual. Oh, really? But I could be wrong. I think... Yeah, well, I, what does it say? It says you may pay three CP to gain two... Yeah, I think that's an individual reward. Mm. Not... Like, these tokens are for everyone, and the, and the minion oh. rewards are for everyone, but I think these rewards on the bottom are for that player only. Oh. So you can still roll yeah, the loot die. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. All right, well, there you go. I know you like your loot. I do love loot. I'll do anything to get it. <laughs> mm. You got a 10, so you get three health. Three health, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, So I'm at 28. Mm -hmm. Ah, that was not worth C3CP. Uh -huh. All, right. <laughs> All right. So now we spawn a blue monster. Okay. And let's see what it is. What if you run out of blue monsters? There's more in the box. Oh, okay. 
Dreg Beast. Um, I just drew enough for the scenario. Mm -hmm. um, it has 15 health, 1 CP, and here's a quick look at that. It does uh, undefendable damage. Ooh. Mm -hmm. On a failed offensive roll, heroes lose a, hell, uh, lose a gold. Uh, defensive roll. Okay, so that's not terrible. It's 15 health, though. Okay. All right. So... So now I take my turn. Uh, yes, you would normally... Right. Yeah, go ahead and take your turn. So, We're up to 15. What are these things again? These tokens? Those are salves. You can spend them at the beginning of your different parts of your phases. Like, again, yeah. look at your portal crawl card. Mm -hmm. You can spend a salve before you move and explore. You can also spend a salve right before a battle. Um, and you gain so much health using those. So they're, they're like health potions. Okay. Kind of, sort of. But in this scenario, you gain three health plus one per portal shard that you've collected up to this point. You can also use one to revive a down teammate to one health. Oh, so the more of these we collect, mm -hmm. the more powerful those salves become. Okay. So there is no first strike, so you can take your turn first. Ooh, this is tough. No sixes. No sixes at all. Come on. Oh, perfect. Okay. One, one, five, four, four. Okay. I will. I'm going to roll these two. Three and one. Okay. okay, I'm going to do this one. Gain flight and then deal six damage. Okay, it's just black. Is that a black? Uh, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. yeah, it's black. Okay, yeah. that's defendable. Okay. Um, flight is a token that does what? Um, oh, here. <laughs> okay. So much to read. All right, well, hey, you chose her. Yeah, no. Roll two dice to dodge or make undefendable. Uh, a player with this token may spend it. At any time during the roll phase, once spent, roll two dice. If a six was rolled, activate this token. If activated during the offensive roll phase, that player's attack becomes undefendable. If activated during the defensive roll play a phase, ignore all incoming damage. So it's a positive status effect that goes on you. Um, it does. Oh, you may spend it any time during the roll phase. Roll two. So that's very, it's tough though. Like yeah, you have to roll. You have to roll a six. Mm -hmm. um, if, if a six, w if spent, ro activate this token. If activated, so you, oh man, you have to roll a six. Roll two to dodge or make. So basically you can do one of two things with this token. Mm -hmm. You can make your attack undefendable. Or you can ignore all incoming damage. Yeah. You choose what, what you want to use it for. But you have to spend it and then roll two dice. Yeah. And roll a six. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of bad right now because of your six ability. Yeah, I know. But, but at least it, you have it for later. For the defensive roll phase, if he hits me. Well, oh, it, that six still prevents sixes from kicking in. Oh, even in the defensive roll? I would assume so. Uh, I thought they would. It just away. says whenever a player afflicted with this token rolls a six. Yeah. It, it but doesn't. I, I thought it would go away after my turn. N it does go away after your turn. So after my turn, once he attacks, if he attacks, then I can use the. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mhm. Mm okay. And so you're gonna. So you do how much damage six now? Six black damage. Six black. Okay. So now he's going to roll for defense, which is four dice. Yes. All right. So he rolled two whites, a red, and a yellow. Um, prevent one on a yellow, and heroes lose a gold on the red. So we're down to 12 gold, and he blocks one of your damage. Okay, so, so five. He's, he loses five health. So he's down to, from 15, he's down to 10. Okay. Okay. Uh, now he attacks back. Okay, he retaliates. He retaliates. And these go away. Uh, yes, those go away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one and two. Okay. So he is going to roll. He is trying to roll two whites, two yellows, and a red. Two whites, <laughs> two yellows, and now he just needs a six. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. okay. On a failed offensive roll, heroes lose one gold. Oh, man. So we're down to 11 gold. Oh, 
That's we're losing awful. gold quickly. That's awful. It is. But at least we're not taking any damage, right? I guess. But now it is my turn, mm -hmm. and I will... Did you gain a CP and draw a card at the beginning of your turn? I did not draw a card, but I did gain the CP. Okay. All right. Um, so now it is my turn. I'm going to come over to help you, and I will gain a CP, and I will draw a card. All right. Um... That's nice. I might, that's three CP though. I don't have enough for it. Okay. I'm going to have to wait on that. Um, okay. So during my main phase, I could purchase that another bot if I want to, or I can wait for my offensive. I might, I might try and upgrade my bots before using them, uh, just for efficiency. So I'm just going to run right into my roll phase and just try and do some damage. All right. So two gears. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, I'm going to roll this one twice. Uh, one, I need another gear, actually. Um, actually, I should, I'm also do another for my upkeep. I forgot this. Oh, I get to roll a die here. Let's see what it is. It's a gear. I gained two synth. So now I've got four. That was an upkeep that I missed. And I'm going to roll this for my last one. Three, okay, fine. So using these four, I can do scratch built. It doesn't do any damage, but build an advanced bot of any type or upgrade a basic to an advanced with no synth. Um, well, I'd hate, I feel like I would just build an advanced bot. I don't want to waste, yeah. It's going to be more expensive for me to build a new one than upgrade it than is to build an advanced one outright. So I might take the heel bot. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take the heel bot and put it on its advanced side. But nothing else happens. So that was my turn, basically. Um, I could, as part of my main phase, I could upgrade it, this one by spending three synth. One, two, three. I think I'll do that. I'm going to spend three synth to upgrade this guy to the advanced side. So now I've got two advanced bots that I can use, but uh, for right now, yeah. Okay, so now the enemy is going to go. He's going to try and roll that combo from before. Uh, once again, he rolls everything but the red. Nope. And he did. So he does six undefendable damage to me. Um, so here's the thing. I'm going to take six damage. I'm down to 21. However, I have a heal bot. And the heal bot says, and that's undefendable, so I cannot roll for ratchet up. Mm -hmm. Heal bot, though, you may activate this bot up to two times after being attacked with at least six damage. Upon activation, roll one. Although this is, it says black though i guess it doesn't matter can i roll can i use heal bot if the defense is undefendable it doesn't say okay it says can i use heal bot if the incoming damage is undefendable yes as long as the incoming damage is at least six yeah so it doesn't matter so i'm going to spend one synth which is my last one to use my heal bot um once because I don't have two synth. It says you may activate this bot up to two times. And the activation cost on a bot is, an advanced one is one. So I'm going to roll this die. And on a wrench, I heal one. Okay, so I just heal one, which isn't bad. So I gain one health. I'm up to 22. All right, and that concludes his attack. So now it is your turn again. Okay. So you have to stay there. Yes. Uh, so you get to gain a CP and draw a card. Okay. CP, draw a card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, ooh. Oh, man. Do I? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I need more CP, man. How do I get more? <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, man. Okay, I think... Okay. 
Let's do... Are your stuff considered status effects or no? No, these are companions. They never go away. Okay, good. Um, okay, I think I'll just... I'll just save my stuff. I like all okay. parts. And I'll just roll. Go for it. All right, three, three, four, five, six. You got a small straight there. Do I? Three, four, five, six. Yep. I should have. Ah, okay, fine. Did you sell the one that lets you change this to a two or whatever? No. Okay. No. I could have upgraded this. Oh. But I didn't because I'm so low on CP. That's fine. <laughs> um, small straight would deal six damage. And it would do things. Mm -hmm. um, that's three, four, five, six. All you right. could roll that just to get a large if you can. Yeah. If you can get, if you can get a two. Uh, One. Nope. Six. No. Okay. But you got a small straight. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. She's saying, hold on. Hold on. If I change. Oh, man. That's only two. Okay. Yeah, we'll do a small straight. So what does that say? Deal six damage and roll one die. Is that the black damage? Yeah. Defendable? Okay. Yeah, defendable, unfortunately. Okay. The blacks and the reds, I wish the reds were more red. Prominent, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. So you got a, a wavy. Um, so it's seven. seven. So seven total damage. Yes. Now that is defendable, yes. so he's going to roll four dice. Yes. And he prevents two of that damage, but that's it. Okay, so that's five damage. Five damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he is down to five. All right. Um, and now he will retaliate against you. Yep. Unless there's something else you want to do before you end your turn. Um, You're on your second no. main phase, technically. I'm, I'm good. All right, so he's going to try and roll for those symbols. Which he gets immediately. Wow. That's so amazing. What, so what is it? It's just six undefendable damage. Okay. I'm going to use my flight ability. Okay. So use your flight. That means you have to roll two dice. Two dice. And if you get a six, then you block all damage. If not, then nothing happens. It's RNG at this point. No. Three and a five. Do you have anything you can do to make it a six? Um, I can Oh, wait, is this, this isn't my defensive rules phase, right? This is just a flight status effect. It is. However, you can play instance at any time. Yeah, this is an instant. This is an orange. Oh, no, no. Dang, I could have just changed it to six. All right, it's fine. All right, so you're going to take six damage. Dang. They hit hard. Yeah, they do. So, uh. 20, it's 19. You're on 25? 28. Oh, so 22. 22, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, um, my turn. Mm -hmm. I will gain a CP. I will draw a card. And during my upkeep, I get to roll a die. And it's a gear, so I get two synth. Mm -hmm. One, two. And... Oh, you got this. He only has five health. Let's see. Okay. Um, I kind of want to spend all of my CP to get this defense card out. Um... How is that better? On two wrench. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna spend three CP, all of my CP, to upgrade my ratchet up from one to two. And it does this. So it's slightly better. However, not helpful during undefendable damage rolls, but still. All right, so now I'm going to uh, roll dice. And let's see. Wow, it's a lot of sixes. Uh, sucks. I have overclock. Deal six undefendable damage, then activate up to two different bots. I might try for the maximum power anyway. Just question. To, yes. Question. No, because we're in a team, can I use cards? It, the, yes, you can. Um, no matter where you are, you can still use cards. If I'm battling someone over here, we can still assist each other with cards. I might assist you. Well, how about I roll twice okay, first and see? Fine. Okay. Um, gain two synth, inflict nanite, deal 10 undefendable damage, then activate up to two bots. I'm going to try and just do this one first. Mm -hmm. Um, 
First one. Five and Ooh. four. Okay. That's, well, let's see if it matters. I could use, actually, I don't have enough CP for samesies. Uh, that's okay. Um, this is still six undefendable damage, which would kill him outright. Oh, okay. Then activate up to two different bots, which is fine. The only thing I miss out on is two synth. I could just. Spend one CP. It's overkill. I would say wait for the wait for the stronger ones. I'm fine All with right. this. All right. Um, it's not that big of a difference between this and this, to be honest with oh. you. Other than uh, I I lose out on synth. I inflict nanite, but he's dead anyway. Yeah. So I'm just gonna take that. And this is six undefendable damage, which kills him outright. Six minus five. Um, and then activate up to two different bots. Uh. So Ignore normal activation requirements because you can only activate these bots so many times. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so do I want to activate any bots? Um, I really can't. Advanced, the heal bot. Oh, wait. It says ignore normal activation requirements. So I could activate heal bot, I guess, and just roll for health if I really wanted to. Um, I really don't need to. I think I'm good. I kind of want to save my synth. All right, I'm going to save my synth and not roll for heal bot. Okay, and that's it. So he's dead, and we get to roll a blue for loot. So roll your loot die, and we'll see. I got a 15, and you got an 11. The 11 for you is one gold. The 15 for me is two gold. So Wait, we, isn't that three gold? 15? 15 is oh, two. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Perceptive. Right. So we get three gold between the two of us there. All right, so that's one gold profit because he stole two. I guess, yeah. <laughs> not not terrible. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so it is your turn now, right? Yes, unless you want to do anything else in your main phase. I don't think so. Okay. All right, let's go down. <laughs> you're going down here. So you're going to pick up the first portal shard, mm -hmm. which that's the number four, and that just fits right in there. Mm -hmm. And this is a level one. Okay, so this is the Lonely Shrine, spawn a monster. You may play an ability card from your hand that costs two CP or less for free. Do you have any upgrade cards in your hand that cost two CP or less? Yeah, how many? What is, hold on. You play Do you have an upgrade card? Yes. That costs two or less? I have two of them. <laughs> then pick one and build it for uh, free. I thought it was both of them. It says, <laughs> Play an ability upgrade card from your hand, um, yes. and not both. <laughs> Let's do this one. Uh, so you're going to upgrade Purify, mm -hmm. and this is what Purify mm -hmm. looks like. Choose a player. If that player is an opponent, deals... Oh, so it's the same thing as I read off before, except this one does extra one extra damage each. damage and one extra health. Okay, that's not terrible. Mm -hmm. And how now we... I, how do I identify this? Sorry. At the end of the round. At the end at of the, the At the end of the entire... We'll get to it. Okay. But it's not going to be for a while. Yeah, okay. Um, spawn a green monster. Spawn a green monster. Okay. So the green monster is a lizard man. Mm -hmm. He has 15 health and 2 CP. And all right, let's just put him out there. No first strike. So go ahead and do your thing. All right. So I gain a CP mm -hmm. and I draw a card. Yep. Ooh, okay. All right. I'll do something crazy. Um, should I do this? You know what? I will. I'm going to spend two CP back down to one. And I'm going to draw three cards. Ooh, okay. One, two, three. Okay. What is this stuff? Okay. Um. Ah. Okay. I'll do this. I'm going to spend, I'm going to sell this for one CP okay. and then I'm going to spend two CP to upgrade this. This will give me an extra okay. ability as so well. So over Arch Arch Archangel's Will, uh, now you've got the second variant of that so it's better. Now you've also got Heaven's Blessing. So go ahead and pause if you want to see that in greater detail folks. But yeah, it's just better all around. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I think, I don't really like this card, but I'll keep it anyways, just in case. All right, and then I'll just go. All right, so he has no first strike, so you get to go first. 
15 health this one. Yeah. Does he have undefendable offense? Uh. Does he deal red damage? Deal damage equal to the roll value. So. Is it defendable or No, roll? it's just regular damage. Okay. It is defendable. Okay. Um, okay. Three, four, five, six is a small straight. Dang it. I should have upgraded that. <laughs> I, just, I keep putting that off. You might be able to get a, a large one if you get lucky on your second. It's up to you. Um, uh, yeah, okay, let's try it. Go to, go to, go to, six. Uh, 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 okay, let's try it again. Uh-huh. One. <sighs> okay. Um. Unless there's something else you want to activate, but. Mm, no, I don't think I can. So let's do the small street. Just deal six damage. And Is that undefendable or no, defendable? No, defendable. Okay, so you get to roll a die. Yep. And it's a t wavy, so it's so it's seven damage. Seven damage. Seven. He rolls one die. Okay. For his defense. Yeah. Ooh. Six. Nothing happens. On a on a white die deal two damage, but oh. he did not roll that white, so he does not do any so no defense there, and you just flat out do seven damage to him. Mm -hmm. So he's down to eight. Okay. Alright. What's the reward for killing him? A one loot roll. Okay. All right, he attacks you back. He's going to try and get um, two white and a red. And he got two white, but he did not get the red. So he'll keep rolling. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. He did not do any reds, so nothing happens. Really? Yeah. I like this lizard guy. I want him as a companion. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Um, I guess it's my turn. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to move down to help you out. Um, I'm going to gain a CP. I'm up to one. And I'm going to draw a card. And I gain synth based on what I roll. Mm -hmm. It's a four. I gain two synth. One, two. My stack limit for synth is seven. I've got wow. four at the moment. Um, okay. What were you going to ask? I was going to ask, can you backtrack? What do you mean? Like, can you, you go can, backwards? You can go backward, but you cannot land where you've already been. You okay. have to either, you have to engage in either, unex you have to explore a new tile or engage an existing monster. Many, you cannot just land here and that's it. How many movement points do you have? There is no movement points. You just, mo you just move as much as you want to the next unexplored uh -oh, tile. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you could backtrack here or up here, whatever. Uh, uh, so I did this. And I'm going to now, do I want to spend anything? Hmm. I kind of want to wait on that until I need more synth. I don't want to lose that. Okay, that's good enough. All right, so I'm going to roll some dice. And I've got my shock bot ready to go in case he's necessary. Five, five. Wow, I'm really doubling down on this scratch built ability. I, I feel like... Maybe do I use this round to upgrade my other, get my other heal bot out there for Matt? I mean, that's, or might get my nano bot out. Do you uh, still have two extra rolls? I do. I'm just, just I'm debating. Yeah. All right. I'm going to, I'll keep going with it. Three okay. gears. Okay. So that's your, I think that's better for me. That's eight damage and three synth. Um, I don't know... I think I can use the shock bot. Uh, results in it. You may activate this bot. Upon activation, increase that damage by three. Um, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. It's possible that... Actually, he cannot defend against that eight. He can only do damage back. So I know that this will, this will kill him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't need to use shock bot here. So I will gain three synth, which puts me at uh, seven. One... I think that's my limit, actually. Two, three. Yeah, this is my stack limit. And I do eight damage. Now, eight damage to him. Um, he, it, it is defendable, however. Uh, it's just eight damage. It's not undefendable. So he's still going to roll for defense, and he will possibly do damage to me. He did not. He needed a squig, or he needed a one, two, or three. So he just dies. Eight health, eight damage, he's dead. Nice. Um, I will... 
I can use Healbot, actually. Healbot, that was a defensive... No, there was, no this is done during the defensive roll. Mm. After being attacked. Yeah, I was not attacked. Okay, yeah. So there's nothing else I can really do with that. I could spend some of these. I might do that to get my other bot out. Yeah. I'm going to spend two sim to get regular nano bot out on the regular side. That way I don't waste these. Okay, that was my second main phase. Uh, let's go ahead and roll for our loot here. Uh, we get to roll our loot die. And it is a 10, Ooh, a 1. That's a critical miss, whatever. Um, that's not terrible, though. It's a plus 1 token. You add that to an attack to make... It's a modifier. It's okay. an attack modifier. Okay. If it's undefendable damage, then it's plus 1 undefendable damage. If okay. it's plus 1, whatever. So you get a plus 1 token... Mm -hmm. And I get, uh, on my 10, I get 2 health. Nice. So I will take 2 health, and I'm up to 24. Okay. All right, not terrible. Okay, um, that was my turn, and there's nothing else for me to do, I think, so... Uh, oh, you? All right, next tile. <laughs> you going down here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, technically, we only need this and uh, this to say. I okay. know. All right, but you want to go all in. I like the loot. You want the loot. Keep All right, so in. you roll... I don't know why she won't stay up. It's on a crease. Yeah, so we roll our loot die. It is an 8. 14. 14. All right. Let's see. Your 8 is... No, that's your 8. Oh, my 8 is... I get to draw two cards. Nice. And your 14 is two gold. I don't want to draw cards. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and now we flip this over. Mm-hmm. And it is the Pensive Pond. Roll a die. Oh, six-sided die. Three. Three. Um, on a three to four, heal for three. <gasps> Ooh. That's good. Mm-hmm. 25. You can re-roll this die for one CP per re-roll, but no. not necessary. Now we spawn a green monster. Okay. I don't even have any CP, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's lucky, because on a one or two, you'd gain Parasite. Ooh. Parasite is a nasty debuff. Okay, so we do a green monster. The Lizard Man is dead. And the new one coming out is the Street Rat. He's looking for straights. Either a micro straight, a small straight, or a large straight. He steals CP. Nasty. Um, all right, he has 10 health and 4 CP. Oh, boy. All right. No first strike or anything, so you get to go first. All right, so I gain one CP. Mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh. All right, and I draw a card. And he has 10. So. And flip it like this. There we go. Um, let's do. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, man. That would have been fun. Oh, that would have been fun. Okay. I just... Okay. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'm going to sell this card. You love selling cards. And I'm going to spend the rest of this to upgrade this. Even though you've wanted to upgrade this for how long? I know. <laughs> All right, so Holy Smite turns into Holy Smite 2 and Holy Command. So pause if you want to read more about that in greater detail. But yeah, not terrible. I, I really like that second ability. That's the only reason. Heal one and deal four undeventable damage. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. The fact that I can get like a little trinkles. Yeah, heals. little trinkles of health. And I'm using all my CP since he steals. Yeah, so. I might have to do that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, on to... Oh, offensive. One, 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 six. You have enough for six straight out damage, but you do whatever you think is best. Um, let's roll this one. Okay. Oh. That's five, so that's seven damage. Eight damage. Eight With damage. So that becomes eight defendable damage. Yes. Okay. So he is going to roll four dice at that point. All right. Uh, unfortunately, on a double yellow, steal one CP, but you don't have any. Um, what else? Actually, I need I, this is this is an instance where I need to record his CP 
because he does damage per amount of CP that Ooh, he has. Nasty. Now, because you don't have any to steal, he doesn't take it. Yes. So he's at four CP right now. That's what he started with. Yes. But that's it. He doesn't do anything else because he didn't roll two reds. Yeah. All right. So, and how much damage was that? Seven. Wow. He's down to three. No, sorry. Eight. Eight damage. Eight damage. All right. So he's, he's got two health left. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will finish him off. All right. So you're, you spent the plus one there. Yes. And that's it. All right. Where did these plus twos come from? Here we go. They're behind the plus ones. I see that. They're oh, okay. Behind. I was wondering. Okay. Um, so I'm going to join you, and I'm going to draw a card and mm -hmm. give a CP and just try and finish this guy off. You okay. Um, I've got a lot of cards. Um, I'm actually going to spend all of my CP to upgrade Jolt. Mm. So this is what that looks like. Small straight and an extra ab ability on the very bottom there. So that's all of my CP, so we can't steal any on a counterattack. Mm -hmm. And I will just roll some dice. Oh, I get upkeep. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. It is a wrench, and I gain one synth. Nice. Okay. Um, all right, so I get to roll some dice. And that's four wrenches. I mean, wow. he cannot possibly defend against that. I'll, I'll just roll this for fun. There, Ooh. five. So deal five damage. Um which is enough to kill him. Roll one die or spend a synth to roll three instead. I can add extra damage. Okay, so I'm going to deal five damage, which kills him. And he doesn't defend again? He will defend. Oh. He will defend, but I want to finish this off. Um, roll one die or spend a synth to roll three. I'll just roll one die. And it's a wrench. On a wrench, add one damage. So I did six damage to him. Now, because that is blockable damage... Defendable. He's just going to roll some dice, and he might possibly... Oh, on two reds, he'll ignore all damage. Does he... You forgot to roll this one, right? He only rolls four. Oh. Oh, and he rolled a red, though. Yeah, he rolled one, but he needs two. <gasps> okay. Per the bottom of the card, on two yellow, steal a CP. On two red, ignore all damage. And he only rolls once? Oh, did he not attack you? No. He should have attacked you before I attacked him. Okay. I, we skipped his attack phase. Oh, uh, okay. So we should probably do that real quick. He's going to die anyway. Um, why don't you go ahead and you want to... Well, no, he can he can attack me now, right? Y yeah, I we'll, we'll squeeze that in before I kill him. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so he's going to try and do something to you now. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we missed that completely. That's fine. Uh, he, he needs a micro straight... Uh, he wants straights. So one, I guess four, five, six. One, two. No, he got a micro, which is steal one CP, which that's it. Okay. Uh, so nothing would have come of it. Even though we missed his attack, right. not, he doesn't do any damage or anything like that. So we're fine. So he's dead. Um, when he defended against you, was he able to roll twice or... He rolled... Or does he roll only just once? Just once. Okay. When you do a defense roll, there's no re-rolling there. I see. Okay. So, long story short, his attack against you was not successful. Then I took my turn. I did enough damage to kill him. He did not do anything to me. He mm -hmm. is dead. And we now roll for one green. Um, so, go ahead and roll your loot die. 16. And a four. <laughs> My 16 on the green is two gold, and your four mm -hmm. is a plus two. Okay. All right, so I get uh, two gold for us. Mm -hmm. One, two. Okay. And now it is your turn. I wonder if we forgot to do that for the other enemies. <laughs> no, I'm pretty... I, I, I have a feeling we're okay. Okay. We're, play, we're pretty casual folks, people. Yeah. Just FYI, so we miss stuff, but... Now... We're having fun. If I matters. go back here, you, what does that do? You don't, again, you can only go to a place that, that is unexplored. I know, but did we explore this? That's where we started. That's, okay, so I'll go here. All right, so you're going to go... Around. There we go. Okay. So let's roll for our one loot. Two and six. My two is a plus one. The dot on the bottom is... Is a six, okay. Yeah. 
And then your six is plus one CP. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that goes away. And now we reveal mm -hmm. Stained Altar. Uh, gain two gold and spawn a green monster. Alternatively, receive two damage and explore an unexplored adjacent tile. Mm. So we can skip the battle altogether if you decide to take two damage, or you can just take two gold and fight a monster. Let's, let's fight the monster. Why not? All right, so we gain two gold immediately. Mm -hmm. And um, now we have to spawn. All right, the Goblin Enchanter. Uh, has 10 health, 1 CP. Um, upon damaging you, he does 4 undefendable damage. Your opponent discards 1 card randomly. Ooh. Okay. So, um, he has 10 health. So, you get to go. Okay. Gain you CP. get a CP and a card. And a card. All right. Huh. Okay. Um... See, I'd love to, to upgrade this, but it's only two extra damage. Um, you say that, but you've activated it like four times this game. I know. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's up to you. It's your uh, it's your uh, cards, you know. Um, discard a card randomly. That's a nasty one. I feel like I really need to hold on to my cards at this point. Cause that's a or nasty. play the one that you really want. But... Well, a lot of unless the you ones, can kill them in ten. The all I mean. a lot of the ones I have are orange. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. This is my main phase. Um, you know what? Fine. I'll, I'll I'll spend two of my CP, and I'll just do that. All right. So you are going to upgrade your small street ability to triumphant two. Uh, deal eight damage and roll one, and then get mm. some extra stuff. Actually, I can do that on my second main phase, right? You can. Yeah, I'll do that instead. Okay. Let me attack first. All right. Because I have a thing. You have a thing. Have a thing. Okay. Come on. Okay, fine. Oh. <laughs> That's a uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait. One, two, four, five. One, two, four, five, five. Uh, do you have enough for holy? Oh, you don't have a six. You have an, no, almost enough for that. I'm gonna roll this twice. Four. I'll roll it again. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not helpful. No, hold on. I have a card. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna spend. This is why I didn't want to do the straight. Spend so one what CP, is that? Change the value of one of your dice to six. Tip it. Oh, six it. Yeah, to six. So that way I can do this one. Holy smite. Okay. All right, so your Holy Smite says roll four dice. Yes. So let's see what it does. All right. One, three, three, five. Uh, so on deal two times the number of squigglies. Okay. Uh, under, so that's three. six damage. Yeah. And then this cross is cleanse. Cleanse. You gain a cleanse. All right. So six undefendable. Eight. Right? Eight. Eight. If you, yeah, modifier. eight undefendable damage yes. to him. So if you want to spend it now, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So he does, he's down to two and he will attack you back. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get to roll for defense because it's undefendable damage. Mm -hmm. Right? But um, now he's going to attack you. Now I have to wonder though. What? If I didn't use that modifier, he would have four left. Would you have been able to finish him off? Maybe. Do you want to save your plus two? I'll try and get four damage if you yeah, want. Yeah, I think that would be better. All right, so he gives, can... he's up to four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do four damage. Yeah, I think you can do I have that. a shock bot. I can use that for extra three if I need to. Mm -hmm. So he attacks you back. He's going to roll some dice. He's aiming for a white, two yellow, and a red. A white, red, yellow. He, he needs another yellow. Oh, man. And he got it. And what does that do? Four undefendable damage, and your opponent discards one card randomly. Four undefendable damage? Yes. Can I do anything? No, I can't. So you lose four health and... 21. Down to 21, and you lose a card randomly. Oh, no! She's totally not looking. Oh, God, here, just pick it. Just get it over with. Oh, okay. Try, try again. 
You were a chosen teammate. May we roll up the two dice? Okay. It's not terrible. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That is the one I drew too. So okay. that's fine. Now it is my turn. I'm going to join you up here to help you fight this thing off. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to gain a synth. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get. I'm gonna have one more. I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm at my max of seven. I even if I rolled a die for this, I would not have been able to gain two because I'm at my limit. Mm. Um, I'm going to main phase. I might as well just upgrade this. One, two, three. Spend three synth and upgrade to this nanobot to the advanced side. So now all of my bots are completely upgraded. And I've got four synth that I can use for different things. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to gain a CP. And I should have done this before, but uh, okay. And I'm going to roll some dice unless there's something. Is there an upgrade that I want? I've got six cards. That means I'm going to have to play some of these soon. I don't know how you can have that many cards. I think it's I'm not using them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's four right there. That's uh, four damage. That's enough to kill them. And then, yep. Yeah, okay, I'm done there. So that's five. And roll one die or spend a synth to roll three. I'm just going to roll one to five, add two damage. So I did five plus two is seven defendable damage. He is going to roll for defense. Um, ooh, it's the worst possible roll. On a yellow, deal a damage. So I'm down to 23. Mm -hmm. And on red, inflict poison. <gasps> so on his last throws, he uh, inflicted me with poison, but the damage was enough to kill him off. So he is gone, and now we roll for loot. Uh, so go ahead and roll your loot die. Okay. Three. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, my three is a plus two. And your... Twelve. Twelve is a gold. Okay. So we're at twenty-one. Now... Uh, give me a minute. I, I still oh, sorry, have heal. I, I still have. That was defendable. Um, actually, did he? Oh, he didn't do any. No, I could. Oh, he didn't attack me, so I didn't. I couldn't he use that. Him. Yeah, and my 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 heal bot would not have worked there anyway. So the way poison works. Let's just make sure I got this right. <clears throat> uh, poison, poison, poison. A player afflicted with this token is dealt one damage per poison token during the upkeep phase. So at the same time, this is going to stay on me until I get rid of it. I'm going to put that here under Scrap Collector because I want to be resolving both of these at the same time. Um, I'm still on my main phase two. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to play Get That Out of Here and oh, okay. spend one CP that I have to remove the poison, and that's that. Oh, okay. Done. I was going to ask. Um, About your cleanse? Yeah. I don't know if that would... What's like, your cleanse say? It just says a player with this token may discard it at any time to remove the status effect. But, From themselves. Yeah, but I don't know how to transfer it. Like, how would I even transfer something like that? Mm, it doesn't... It just says a player with this token may discard it at any time. So I don't think there is a way to transfer cleanse to another person. Unless there's a card. Maybe. Th yeah, maybe there is, okay. but that's okay. That's more for you. That's, that, that's one thing about co-op. Like, it's... It's weird. Certain things help each other. Others are, are more selfish. Yeah. Um, so I helped you with that. Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to do. So it is your turn. Okay. Let's go to three. Going to three. Wow. You're going right down there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're on. You got that. This is number two of that. You get a salve. Okay. No, you can give it to me or to you. Who do you Who do you want to? Do you want to split um, it up evenly? Yeah. Or do let's you think let's split it. Let's split it. All right. Sure. And then three is... Lonely Tower, purple, uh, search your deck for an ability upgrade card that costs three or less and put it into play. Then shuffle your deck. So for you, look at your deck. Okay. Find an ability that costs three or less, like an upgrade card. An upgrade card. So one of these four. Three or less. And then put it into your deck. Um, or put it into your, yeah, upgrade it and then shuffle your deck. The most expensive one. All right. <laughs> Holy Blade 3. So this is going to help your basic abilities and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not bad. Mm. Alright, now we have to spawn a purple monster. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Holy Zealot. 
Holy <laughs> Zealot. That's from earlier, I'm sure. Yeah, I um, okay, so 16 health, and yeah, he doesn't have first strike or anything like that. Thank so go ahead and get a CP and draw a card. CP. Draw a card. Let's see. Should I shuffle this, actually? Yeah, shuffle it. Oh, sorry. Okay. That's what it said to do. Oh, it did it. Okay. Yeah. It says then shuffle your deck. It's only right. It's not because I actually liked the card I drew for the record. Uh -huh. but it's it's, it's casual player. play. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I kind of hope I get that card again. Dang. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. 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 This isn't too bad. I have two CP. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's just roll. <laughs> Gonna roll. Okay. You have 16 health? Yeah, 16. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, my. Wow, it's a lot of squigglies there. One, two, three. Three, five. I could deal four and defendable damage. And heal. And heal. That's not terrible. That would bypass his defensive roll. His defensive roll is um, roll four dice on a line or on a one, two, or three deal one damage, and then prevent two times the number of yellow or two times. So he he does a lot of defense mm -hmm. on yellows and reds, but that undefendable would bypass his defense roll because yeah. he can't defend against it. That's and you would heal for one as well. That's not bad, but. It's up to you on what you want to do. He would attack you back normally. Yeah. Oh, man. I was tempted to re-roll the whole thing. <laughs> well, that's good. That always works out so well. It does. All right, fine. I'll do, I'll play it safe. I'll play Holy Command. And I'll gain one health. Okay. And four undefendable damage. Six. I'll use this. Okay. So he went from 16 to 10. Mm-hmm. So you're using your plus two, and it's a modifier, so that makes it undefendable as well. Yeah. It takes this form of whatever the original damage type was. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so he's down to ten. That's not bad. He is now going to roll against you. He's looking for two whites and three yellows. Uh, one, two, so he needs two yellows out of these. Nope. Nope. Ooh. Okay, so it says passive. Mm -hmm. On a failed offensive roll, deal two undefendable damage and heal for one. Dang. So you take two damage, and he's back up to 11 health. You know, I have not defended once throughout this whole game, <laughs> so I feel like upgrading this is, like, so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough. All right. All right. Um, I will come down and join you. Mm -hmm. I get a CP, and I get to draw a card. And upkeep, I have to roll a die. And it's a wrench, so I gain one synth. Okay. And I have seven cards, so I need to sell stuff. No, I have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, I could gain, I just play this now. Um, getting paid, uh, just discard this and gain two CP. I don't see why I wouldn't just do that. Uh, so I'm up to three. Um, what else can I do? I can gain more scent. Don't need it. That's for defense. Okay, triple up. No. All right, I'm good. Uh, I'm going to roll some dice and hope I get 11 damage on them somehow. <laughs> um, I'm going to bypass a lot of this stuff, I think. Well, how am I going to do? This is a one, four, five, six. One, four, five, six, one, one. Okay, so if I can get a large straight, deal nine damage and activate any one bot, that's kind of nice. But I would need to get a two and a three there. Or a three, yeah. Small straight, I, that's probably more doable. I would just need another gear symbol. But this does not do any damage. It just heals and draws cards. Um, I need something that's going to do damage straights. I need another gear over here as well. Can I just make a... Yeah, I, I could use samesies if I needed to. Um, okay, I've got some options. So I'm going to roll these two again and just try and get 
uh, something. Okay, so there's a three. There's a small straight and this. So three of these and the lightning bolt is this, but again, not needed. Um, three, four, five, six, and I'll roll this one one more time to try and get a large. No. Okay, so three, four, five, six is jolt two. I gain a synth, inflict two nanites, one, two, and then deal seven damage. Now I'm going to do a couple of things here. <laughs> um, I'm going to use my, um, there's a couple of things going on. I'm going to use my shock bot for the first time in this game. I'm going to spend a single one to activate shock bot. And that does, uh, and the reason I only spend one is because he's an advanced uh, bot. Mm -hmm. So I spend one token to activate an advanced bot. And what he does is I add plus three to my attack. Um, so that would be seven plus three is 10. And then does he defend? He does. Oof. So I'm up to 10 damage. Now those man knights, when do I blow them up? Um, during the upkeep, upkeep phase, a player rolls one. So I, I, I guess on my turn, I have to activate the nanites. Oh, during your upkeep? Yeah, nanites are detonated when nanobot is activated. And nanobot is activated during the upkeep phase. So if I don't beat him... Um, no, actually, when detonated, it says... You may activate this bot during your upkeep phase. Okay, so I have to wait until my upkeep phase to, mm. to detonate these. But uh, I'm going to spend these plus one and plus twos to do 13, to do 13 damage because he may defend. This is this is defendable. So he, I'm doing 13 damage to him with everything I've got. Okay. Um, and 13 damage. He is going to roll four dice. And... He prevents two damage per this and deals one damage per this. Um, so I'm going to take two damage. So I'm down at 21. He defends for four. 13 minus four is nine. So he only takes... Nine. He, he's down to two health. Yeah. Which is awful. Yeah. But you can finish him off, hopefully. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was, that was awful. Um, however... Okay, he did not attack me or anything as far as I know. Is there anything else I can do to... Mm, no, I don't think there's anything I can do to stop. All right, well, I tried. I did as much damage as I possibly could. I have a main phase. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Mm. Um, yeah, all right, so it is your turn. Okay. Okay. Um, does he attack? Uh, he attacks me back, yes. Sorry, I forgot about that. That's okay. Um, so he is going to roll some dice against me. Um, okay, so he needs two whites and three yellows. He got one. He got two yellows, but not enough. Okay, so he failed it. He does two damage to me. I'm down to 19. Ooh. And he heals for one. So he's up to three. Okay. All right. And it is your turn. I, I don't remember if he actually attacked me in the last round too, but... I thought he did. Did he? I don't remember. Yeah, he failed his roll. He healed. Oh, and he only healed. All right. Yeah, he did damage to you and he healed up. Yeah. Three. Take a card. Ooh. Uh, did you get your CP? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, okay, so... How much did he attack you for? Uh... Oh, sorry. He, he missed his roll. It's two undefendable damage. Okay. Uh, it seems like he just chips. Well, he missed both times. Otherwise, he would have done a lot more damage. Oh. He's been missing his offensive roll. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to, I have an idea. I'm going to reroll these three. Four. 
You had enough to kill him, didn't you? Did I? Holy smite too. It, you could do damage. I kind of want to heal though. All right. Because you can just flat out kill him with your nanites, right? I could. I feel like healing is like... Now it, it, whatever we're... you want to do. I don't know. We'll see. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Let's do heal one. Deal four on dependable damage. Okay. So that heals for one. Yeah. And four undefendable. He can't possibly do anything about that. So he goes from three to zero, and he is dead. Uh, these nanites come back to me. I could have detonated them at the beginning of my turn, but didn't have the opportunity. Okay, so he does not attack you back because he's dead. Uh, we're going to roll a loot die. Loot die. Oh, sorry. Thinking. <laughs> I got a nine. Twelve. All right, so that's the number three. My nine is three health. Nice. And what was yours? Twelve. You get two gold. Okay. So we get two gold, and I get three, three health. health. Nice. Twenty-two. Very helpful. Hmm. Okay. Although I could have used, I wonder if I could have used um, Healbot after being attacked with at least six. Oh no, I wasn't attacked with six damage. Okay, never mind. I was thinking about healing when he when he hit me, but I have to have at least six damage before I can use Healbot. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So Holy Zealot is dead, and it is my turn. Yes. All right. So I am going to whoop, come up here. And this is a thorn bush. Uh, spawn a monster. Roll one die. Okay, well, let's see what happens. <laughs> to two. Discard one positive status effect. There goes a synth. Mm -hmm. No big deal. I'll just get it back. Uh, and then we gain a green monster. Okay. All right. Could have been worse. Barbed vine was three to four. Um, okay, so green monster. It is a dreg lackey. All right, so he has 12 health. Looks like he also does more gold draining, but we'll see how that goes. All right, uh, no first strike that I can see, and he has 12 health. I will just go ahead and attack him outright. I gain a CP. I draw a card. And I get to roll for Scrap Collector. It's a two... Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Three, it's a wrench, it's one synth. And do I want to play any cards? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Same Z's, shiny, I guess gaining Sith, prevent two incoming damage. That could be useful. One more time, triple up. No, I'll save these for the harder monster. Okay, um, I will just roll dice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I need to get 12 damage in there somehow. All right, so... He's only a green, so I can't imagine... He yeah, he's not going to be terrible, but still. <laughs> a lot of wrenches. Uh, one, two, four, five. It's decent. I wouldn't mind getting a, a straight of some kind, but... Um, maybe I re-roll these. Did you do your upkeep? I did. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I feel like I do this. I, I think... Gain five. Yeah, that's it. I either need a straight or I'm gonna I'm gonna roll re-roll these three. So I need a three and a four if I can. Three and a four. Where's the four? And then one more for I'm gonna try and get a five. Four. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Uh gain a synth. Uh inflict two nanites. And deal seven damage. I'm gonna use shock bot. So that's an extra three damage. So I'm doing 10 damage to him. Um, he is going to defensive roll, three dice. Um, on this prevent one, that's nine. On red, heroes lose a gold, don't have to worry. So I just it's just nine damage incoming. So he's down to three. Okay. And then he attacks me back. Mm -hmm. All right, three damage. And you er couldn't defend that, right? No. The only thing he can do is uh, prevent one damage on a yellow. Okay. Which he did not Which roll. he did. He rolled oh, he this did. and these two. He defended one of my ten. Okay. So he's, he took nine damage. Alright. Um, so now he attacks me. 
He needs a white, two yellow, and a red. A white, two yellow, and a red. Yellow and a red. Now just a red. None. Okay, so he did not do any damage. Wow. And that's it. Uh, it is your turn. You gonna come up and join me, or are you gonna go uh, up on oh, your own? Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna come up and join you. Okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Sorry, I thought oh. I was already there. <laughs> All right, four and a card, and okay. Um, let's just roll for it. What do I, do I see? Okay, here's what I'll do. Okay. I will finally spend two CP to upgrade <laughs> this thing. The coveted small straight upgrade. Okay, so you got triumphant two. Hmm. All right. Just adds two extra damage. Hey, two damage is two damage. Uh, okay, and let's just roll. Two, two, one, three, six. Got one. Two, I mean, seven three. damage isn't bad to begin with. You've How got. How much does he have left? He's got three health left. So I could just kill him. Yes, you pretty much could with just those alone. I think. Yeah. Seven damage at most. He can defend for three. So four. Yeah, you could kill him. I'll roll this. Okay. With five. Okay. Nine damage. Nine damage. On four of a kind numbers. No. Yeah, well, Is this four of a kind? Numbers. One, two, two, three, three. You do not have four of a kind. You would need four twos. Oh. Look at the numbers. Yeah, you only have two sets on, on that's it. You yeah, need two. That's fine. Yeah. But you do nine damage, right? Yeah, defendable damage. Right. But he's going to roll dice to defend that, which. Uh, on this, lose a gold. And this blocks one, but that's not enough to defend nine. All right. So that kills him, and we lose a gold. Okay. And we roll the loop die for the green. Okay. Three. Four. <laughs> uh, we both get plus two tokens. Okay. Not terrible, considering that harder ones are coming up. Yep. Okay, so this guy is dead. My poor nanites haven't had a chance to do <laughs> any of them. The so guys bad. are. Di I have a feeling these nanites are better on bosses mm -hmm. when they've got tankier health points, but... Yeah, for sure. Okay, so you helped me out. Yep. The guy's dead. I guess we'll just move on. Exciting. I'm going here, and this is our third portal piece that we need. That fits in there somehow. Mm. And we reveal that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whatever. There we go. Emerald Islands. Uh, we gain one CP per hero. So each of us gains a free CP. And blue monster, remove all status effects from the active player. I lose all of my synth. And this plus two. That is awful. Okay, well, it was nice while it lasted. We'll have to build those back up again at some point. So anybody point. that lands there? Yeah, anyone that lands there, they... Lose uh, their stuff. Yeah, began a CP at least, but still. <laughs> all right, um, blue guy. Let's see. It is a shadow sword, uh, 14 health, yeah. looking for white symbols on his dice. Okay, so um, what was I gonna do first? I gain a CP and I draw a card. Um, real quick, I'm sorry. Where did that tile go? What tile? Oh, never <laughs> mind. So it says to spend the south, it would only be on the minion battles, or Both. no? Before before you move, you can do it, and before you battle, you can do it. Should probably do that before the boss, right? Maybe, okay. but these carry over to the next. Oh, to the next. They chapter. carry over. I so see. by using them now unnecessarily, then we won't have them. Is there a max limit for of these selves? Cells? No. Okay, so if you run out of tokens, you can still yes. substitute. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I will attack him. Uh, he has 14 health. I think I already drew my card and gained that. So uh, I have seven cards, though. I need to start spending. Um, I'm going to do, ooh, shiny. Roll a die and gain that much synth. Ooh. Actually, I should do the upkeep 
or the, uh, oh, this first. Okay. It's a wrench, I get one synth. And now I'm gonna play this. So I'm gonna roll that die. It's a five, uh, divided by is 2.5, rounded up is three, so I gain three synth. Wow. One, two, <laughs> three. So I got that back at least. Um, anything else that I could use? No. Okay, I'll save that for later. Okay. Um, he's got 14 health. I gotta whittle that down. All right. Um, lots of wrenches. Uh, this, again, this is not helpful. <laughs> if I got another, um, gear symbol, I could do eight damage and gain more synth, but I have a feeling I need more. I want to get more wrenches. They're easier to roll. Yeah. Uh, okay. More gears. Okay. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Large straight. I'll take it. That's perfect. I probably had that before and missed it. <laughs> um, all right. So I inflict nanite. And deal nine damage, then activate any one but, ignoring normal activation. So I'm going to activate my shock bot once per this, and I'm going to activate it again per my normal. So I'm going to do six extra damage wow. plus the nine that I just did. So that's what, 15? Wow. I think you... Well, if he can defend it, great. <laughs> um, all right, so 15 damage incoming. Uh, he is now going to... Is there anything I can do to, like, prevent him from... That's, like, better than both of our ultimates. I guess. Um, crazy. Uh, is there anything I can do to prevent his... No? Okay. All right, well, I just have to hope to get lucky. Roll a die. All right, he rolled a two. He defends that much. So Half the value is damage rounded... Oh, as damage rounded up. So he does one damage to me. But he doesn't defend. No, he doesn't defend, so he's dead. Wow. I took a hit. I took one health, but my... my how much damage did I do? Nine 15. plus... Fifteen. He had fourteen health. He's dead. Okay. So I murdered him outright, which was wow. awesome. We roll for the uh, blue loot. Okay. So roll a die. Ten and nine. <coughs> Excuse Bless me. Bless you. So you yes. get... For your nine, you get two health. Oh, nice. And I get three health. Yeah. All right. Well, oh. my work here is done. Oh, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I still have six cards. I'm good. Um, nothing else I really want to do at this point. So, yeah, it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to go for the two blue cards. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going. Well, you have yeah. to. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so catacombs. Um, draw three cards and then discard them. You may choose to pay one CP per card to put these cards back on top of your deck in any order. So draw three cards from your deck. Do you want to keep any of them? If you do, you have to put them back on top of your deck. You have to pay one CP. Otherwise you get rid of them. Oh, like permanently? Discard like them. Discard yes. Them? Mm -hmm. Either discard oh, all of them or pay to keep them on your deck. Oh, I see. Um, ah, oh, that's sad. Okay, I'll just discard them. Okay. It doesn't matter. Blue, we've got the Wither Elf. Okay. One straight. Okay, that has 13 health. Okay, so I start my turn as normal. Does he have first strike or anything? Nope, no first strike. Right. So yeah, you get a CP and you get to draw a card. Four CPs and I draw a card. Transfer one status effect chosen. Oh, yeah, so I could give you cleanse with this one. That's awesome. Um, Don't need it, but thank you. Yeah, I know. Just saying. I'm just saying. I'm saying. If you had poison. Okay. Uh, what if I tran? What if I transferred this to me? <laughs> it wouldn't do you any good, but okay. If you want to be a jerk about it. <laughs> I know. Trader mechanic. All right. Um. Reroll one time. See, no. Okay, I'll just attack. All right. Fine. Uh, one, four, four, five, six. Um. Yes. So let's do. Let's reroll these two. 
one and six. That's enough for Holy Smite two. Not sure what else. Yeah. That's not terrible. Four dice, you can do damage, gain flight, gain cleanse, inflict blinding light. That's that's decent. That's I still a, have a reroll, right? You do, but what would you spend it on? Probably this last one. For what number are you aiming for? Purify. Hmm, it's possible. Go for it if you want. Mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah. Right. You have a three, four, five, six, which is a small straight, is... but I don't know what is better for you at this point. So it would either be this one or this one. Yeah. So you have a possible eight to eight damage here, but you have to roll all four, or you just do is that eight damage eight plus damage. This, the small straight is actually. Better. This is undefendable. This is defendable. Uh, well, if you want to do undefendable, that's um, that might be better for you. You know, their, yeah. I their like... defense is they roll five dice. On two yellow, they prevent half the damage rounded up. Okay, I'm definitely going to do Holy Smite. Okay. So, I roll four dice. Uh -huh. oh. None of them are damaged. Wow. You gain... Two flights. Two flights. A blinding light. And a cleanse. All right, so basically status effects galore. Yeah. Blinding light is a negative status effect that goes on the other player. Yes. So, that is... Um, roll one die to fail or reduce attack damage. The next time a player afflicted with this token concludes their offensive roll phase, they must remove this token and roll a die. On a one, they have no effect of any kind. On a two or three, any damage they deal for the remainder of the roll phase is reduced by a half rounded up. Okay. Okay. So you're going to put blinding the on light. Yeah, blinding light. So there's a 50-50 shot of them losing some kind of attack. But you've got uh, two flights. Two flights. And two cleanse. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, well, I got one cleanse, but this is from the previous. Before. Yeah. Okay. He will now attack you back. Yes. Now, does he have to use blinding light now? Uh, at the end of his offensive roll phase, I think. The next time a player afflicted with this concludes their offensive roll phase. Right. So he's still going to roll and try and get straights. Um. And yours was, you didn't do any damage. All right. So one, one, four, five, six. He needs micro straights. So six, five, he needs straights. So he needs a three and a two. Nope. Three and a two. Just twos. Ooh. Okay, but that's not enough. So four, five, six. He deals five damage. It's black, though. They have to use blinding light, though. Yes. So now go ahead and roll a die. For him, mm -hmm. right? And see what happens. On a one, two, or three. Oh, dang. Uh, so, do you have to remove the token, though? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so nothing happened with this. However, it's defendable damage. So, so it's okay. five defendable, so now you can use that down there okay. to possibly block. You roll one die on a... I deal three undefendable damage to him. Okay. So, he's down to ten. How much did he hit me for, though? He did five damage. Five. 23 minus five. Eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Really need a heal. <laughs> <laughs> what are you down to? 18. Okay. Um, all right. I will come and help you. Oh, he had, he just did his attack on you. Um, so I'm going to come down and help you out now. Mm -hmm. So I will um, draw a card and gain a CP. I'm at the 7 CP. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all the CP. Oh, I could have used the flight. Oh, and I could have used the model. Right. It's fine. I'm going to gain uh, Schematics 2 for 1 CP, just to get this card out of my hand. Mm -hmm. And this, when I roll it, lets me gain 2 CP, draw 2 cards, heal for 2, and gain 4 Synth. Upgrade, uh, or up, up, yeah, uh, upkeep phase. Roll a die. It's a gear, so I gain 2 Synth. 1, 2. And I will attack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need to do 10 damage. Okay, where's my other die? There it is. Six. Six. Okay, so there's lightning bolt. Five. Uh, mm. It's a lot of nothing. I feel like I need to just re-roll. I'm just, I think spanner strike is going to be my way to go. I mean, I have a six, five, four. 
I would need a three somehow. Is there any way I can change dice? Um, nope, 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 okay. Well then, um, I, I feel like I just, small straight is seven damage. Hmm. Well, that, that's really bad. Okay. I, I feel like I just need to roll as many spanners as I hate to give up this, but the chances of me rolling a four is going to, or a, a three rather, is going to be difficult. It's a one in, mm. one in six. So I'd rather just go for 50 50s here. Here's that and then these. Um, not looking great for me. Mm -mm. I could use a card for you. That's okay. Uh, well, I got one more roll. So, I'll just roll these and hope for more spanners. Holy cow. What's a spanner? The wrench. Oh, the wrench. I have... Wow, that's awful. I have Eureka. Oh, that's actually good. That, that works. There you go. Deal... Uh, gain three synth, which maxes me out. <laughs> and deal eight damage. I will spend one to do an extra three damage for my shock bot. Mm -hmm. So, eight plus three is eleven. Um, he's got ten... But it's possible he might prevent some damage here. Okay. So he's going to defend. Against 11. And he did not roll do two yellows. So uh, on two yellows prevent half the damage rounded up. Mm -hmm. He did not. So 11 damage to his 10, he's dead. Nice. So we roll for the two, two blue. I got an 11. 20. 20! Beautiful! You got an epic card. What? Epic. 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 Alright, that's the purple one. Yep, so that goes under here. That's your epic. How do you know it's epic? Because the other side was purple? Yeah, just to make sure. Yeah, I didn't see the card, but okay. I, I want to make sure. I have them separated in the box by color. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, so you got that, and I rolled an 11, and I got a gold. Nice. I want an epic. Whatever. <laughs> epic. Uh, okay, um, not t it was. That was good. I made the that was, I made the worst out of a really bad set of rules there. Okay, so he is dead. Um, he didn't attack me back because he couldn't have, and I think that's it. It's your turn. Okay. So we have a choice. Do we go for the extra salve and carry that over to the boss, or do you just want to end it now and try and take out the last guy? Do you want to? Let, let's let's take out the last guy. I'm you don't curious. think we need the salve? Nah. Okay. Nah. Do you want it? I wouldn't mind. I mean, it's an easy... <laughs> well, you're at All 18. Right. All right, fine. Let's do the self. Well, here's the thing. Do you plan on using a self for... You said they carry over. They carry over. And the more you have, the more you can heal. Is that what it is? No. Well, yes. Like, how do you heal with the self? You just turn it in, you get 3 HP plus the number of portal shards you have. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. For this scenario, that would be that. When facing a boss, I think it's like you just gain a flat. Is it three to six or something like that? Okay, so move in. So what if I just use it now and then go for the boss? Use what now? The south to heal. Why would you do that? To end the game. <laughs> but why would you use the south? You have eighteen health still. Yeah, that's low. That's not low. That's very low. For you can 25? always use the salves at the beginning. Of, as long as he doesn't do 18 damage to you in one turn, you're fine. I don't know how strong the boss is. I don't know either. You're, if I you want to use one... You did, like, what, 15 last time? If you want to use one now, that will take you up to... You've got three portal shards, so you get six health. So if you want to use a salve now, that'll bring you up to 24. Oh, I see. Okay. I thought, it, I thought it was like two per salve. No. All right. One salve is three health plus the number of portal shards you currently oh. have. So three plus three is six, and that would bring you from 18 to 24. But once we have the salve and we, I mean, once we engage him, then it only be, it's only a flat one? No. Or a flat three? No. It's always going to be... Six. Six. Okay. In this case. In this Because we have three portal shards now. I see. Okay. When I say boss, I mean for scenario two. Okay. They carry over to the boss fight. Okay. But, yeah, so, but they're going to be worth a different amount during the boss fight. But our health does reset during, at the boss fight. Okay. 
You don't understand what I'm saying, dude. I, I, you said... The this is the minion boss. Yeah. I'm talking about the next scenario that we're not playing today. Yeah. The boss fight. Our health resets back to whatever it is. So this isn't even the boss boss? No, that is not the boss oh, boss. Oh, I didn't know that. That is the minion boss. I see. The boss boss, like the corrupted barbarian or whatever his name is, that is scenario two. Okay. This is just... This is... Think of it as number... This is number three... This is four. Okay. It's a step up from this. Okay. All right. I'm going to probably use one because 18 is pretty low in my opinion. All right. So go ahead and use one. That brings you up to 24. 24. Because if you think about it, we were supposed to start off with, what was it? 18 anyways. Yeah. That was by default. So I probably would have been dead. No. <laughs> you have to do the math. 25 minus, we started with 25 minus 18 is, you know, you're fine. All right. 24. And I will go here and get a solve. Oh, so you are going to do that? Yeah. Okay. So that means you have to encounter whatever this is. Yes. And it says gain a green loot and spawn a green monster. And then... Oh, Minion okay. gains first strike. So go ahead and roll your loot die. 10. 10. Um... Two health. Okay, that's fine. And green. But he gains first strike. Yeah. All right. Uh, Satyr. Um, so let's it's see. Satyr. 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 <laughs> uh, he gets first strike, though. So he gets to attack you first. He has nine health. Yep. All right. Um, so he is going to try and roll. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a multitude of things. All right. So he's trying to get two whites, two... All right, so he got that, that, and that, at mm. least. Now he needs a yellow and a red. Nope. He got a yellow, but no red. So he's going to activate the second ability on the card. Okay. Deal six defendable damage. Okay, hold on. I'm going to... It also says inflict entangle. Ooh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. So he's going to inflict, unless you dodge the entire attack, he's going to... Oh, that's fine, because I can use cleanse. Okay. Uh, so on a, on a squiggly deal three damage? Now here's the thing. I could use a card and just flat out negate the whole thing, the whole damage for one CP. What is it? Prevent six incoming damage, which is exactly what he's doing. Okay, right? if that's what you want to do. Or I can inflict three undefendable damage to him. You can do both. Can I? Well, yeah. This is not in place of your defensive role. This is in addition to. Oh, okay. I have to so you do this and this, but you have to spend a CP for this. All right, before I do this one, before I do this one, I'll use a flight. And see if I can roll um, a six. All right, so here, put this away so it doesn't get confused. Sorry. Okay. So you're going to use flight to see if you can get out of the damage completely. Yes. Or whatever it is. And what do you need to roll? A six. Six. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Ugh. Really? Dang it. When would flight ever kick in? Any time if a right? six was rolled, activate this token. Um... May spend it any time during the roll phase. That's rough. Yeah, that's rough. It's like... It's a one in six chance. Yeah, it's, that's kind of... The thing is that she gets them quite often. Oh, okay. All that's, right. the, that's the whole thing. Um, I might actually use it again. Go. I mean, it's up to you. Might as well. She's able to get it on almost all of her abilities. Even though... Ah, nope. Ah. All right. Okay. So you're going to use so your card I, I for one CP. So that, the, that blocks the six damage that she's doing you, but she does is still inflict entangle. Yeah, and I deal three undefendable damage. All right, so she's down to six. Okay. Okay. And um, now it's it, my turn. It is now your turn, right, because they had first strike. I am going to use cleanse to take out entangle. All right, so first do your upkeep. Oh, yeah. Okay. And income Four. phase. Yep. Draw. And then you're going to use this token. Cleanse. Cleanse? Yes. Uh, put it here. Now, what did Entangle do again? That prevented you from rolling three times. Instead. It, 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 you only roll twice instead of three times. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't so bad. Oh, well. All right. Um, you have them. 
Yeah. Let's see. You just need to do six damage. Yeah. Let's just do it. I have a two modifier. There. Yeah, you could. I could just save it for the boss, but we'll see how this turns out. Uh, two, three, three, five, six. Ooh, 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 I like this one. Cherubim, two. Gain cleanse, flight, and holy presence. You wouldn't kill her, though. It's just... I know, but holy presence is nice. It does one undefendable damage every time it's my turn. Uh, Forever. <laughs> or you just kill her outright. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh. That would be better against the boss with a lot of hit points, I would think. You know? All right. Heal one. Oh, but I'd have to roll this. That wouldn't kill her. It would not. Unless you use your plus two. Oh. Four plus two is six. That's true. She has no way of defending. Yeah. You could kill her outright with that plus two. Now, here's the thing, though. When it becomes your turn, does that still have first strike? No, she's dead. No, I mean like if I don't kill her, if I just use this one. No, if I engage with her. So if you engage with her, she has first yes. strike. Mm. All right, so let's just kill her then. And I'll That's heal the one. That's the smarter move. Yeah. yeah. So heal one, deal four plus two. Where's your plus two? Right there. So that's yeah. six. Mm -hmm. And that kills her. No defensive roll because it's undefendable damage. Mm -hmm. uh, we roll for one loot. Okay, I'm giving myself health. Okay, 10. 15. Uh, you get two gold and I get two health. Nice. I still think Holy Presence is like huge because if you get two of them, that's two undefendable damage every single turn. That's powerful. For the rest of the game, like forever until they get removed. All right, let's see what that is. Uh, boss portal. Uh, everyone gains two CP Ooh. and three gold. Ooh. Twenty-eight. Uh, spawn a bad guy. It begins with one additional king's hand token. Mm. All right. Um, so what do we have? This is the level four one. The whispering death likes the reds a lot. <laughs> And they have one, but an extra one king hand. So they have two of these king hands tokens. Mm. And they will spend them if they whiff with their primary attack. Or if one of us gets uh, five sixes, she'll make us re-roll one of them. Mm. It. She. It. Whatever it Looks is. Looks like a she. She's pretty. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> All right. Well, I, there's no first strike that I can see, so I'm going to go right in and... Have at it. Um, I'm going to gain a CP. I'm up to nine. How much health does she have? Uh, 30. Wow. This is where my nanites are going to come in handy, I think. Oh, yeah. All right. So, um, 30 health, 2 CP. I might as well track that just in case. Unless you you do 15 damage twice. We'll find like out. Yeah. Um, did I gain a card? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I did not. Okay. All right. Um, I need to start using... Stops. Do okay. these cards carry over no, as well? No, they do not. Everything resets. Except for the deck. Except deck. for, uh, right, except for the deck that, the upgrades that you bring with you into the next one. Okay. And your healing salves, they okay. carry over. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to play Nanite Assault to inflict, well, actually, before I do that, let's roll for this. Mm -hmm. I only get one anyway, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, gain two sim. One. Okay. Oops. All right. So I am going to spend one CP mm -hmm. to inflict nanite on my opponent. And the stack limit is three. Interesting. Um, okay. What else can I play from here to do more damage? That's combat, combat, a lot of combat rule stuff. I can draw a bunch of cards, but then I discard. Nah, I don't think I'm going to do that yet. All right, yeah, these are all offensive abilities and defensive abilities. That kind of stinks. Okay, um, I should be all right. I'm going to roll some dice. I don't think I missed anything. Uh, five, five, 
for, is that the, yeah, Eureka 2, perfect, I'll take it. Um, it does 8 damage and gain 3 synth, unfortunately, I can't gain any more synth. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do 8 damage plus spend 1 to do an extra 3, so that's 11 damage that I'm doing against her. Um, her defensive roll is 2 defense. On a red, ignore all damage. Uh, is there anything I could do to stop her from Dang. using that? Nope. Oh, no. Prevent two incoming damage. Choose a player. No. Nope. There's no way for me to... Ah, dang. Okay. Well, that's, she prevented all that damage. That's crazy. I have no way to make her reroll. Okay. Well, that sucked. Um, now she's going to attack me because there's nothing else I can do, I don't think. Um, all right. So she needs reds. Oh, wow. This is this is going to be bad. She's got two already. Ooh. Three. All right. So with three, it's deal four collateral damage. I don't have to look that one up. This damage is dealt to all opponents. <gasps> if you have one opponent inflict with oh you're you're not with me right now oh. so collateral does not so she inflicts wither and silence on me mm -hmm. uh and four damage so well here's the thing i've got some cards i might as well use them um let's see it's collateral damage um you know what that's i don't remember what is that defendable or not it may not be I think collateral is a type of undefendable damage. It's avoidable, but not defendable collateral. Mm. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Not defendable, but avoidable. Okay. So, long story short, I have to use a card to prevent the damage, I think, with specials. Um, at least I think. I can't... It's... Yeah, I remember getting confused with... Special targeting rules, and avo it's avoidable. Mm -hmm. So I should be able to use a card to avoid it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, prevent two incoming damage and inflict nanite. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend one CP mm -hmm. to defend two of that collateral damage. And I take two damage instead. So I'm done at 24. And I inflict Nanite. And... Uh, you know what I should have done? I should have spent four... Can I do that? No, it has to be during my... At uh, any time. I'm going to do that now. One, two, three, four. I'm going to spend four synth at any time to add a Nanite to him. So he's up to three. Wow. Um, okay. So I took some damage. I also gain silence, so I can't use my straights, and wither. Which is? Which, good question. What does that one do? Wither. Uh, if a player with wither would deal damage as the result of their attack, reduce that damage by one per wither token. Persistent. So it's going to, I lose a damage with every, attack. like, if I do 10 damage, I'm going to do nine. Yeah. Unless I remove it. This is persistent. That's like forever until... Forever until I remove it. Okay. Um, I'm looking to see if there's anything else that I can use at this point. I don't think so. Okay. Um, okay, so she attacked me back, inflicted some nasty status effects on me. But she didn't outright damage you? She did two damage to me. Oh, okay. I defended two of her four. Okay. And it is your turn. Okay. I am going to come up here. Yes, going up there. And she doesn't have first strike or anything, right? No. I'm going to gain seven or, or one one CP, which yep. brings me up to seven. Draw a card. Ooh, I'm gonna play this right away and gain two CP. Okay. That's nine. Awesome. Now the max, is there a max CP? Uh fifteen. Okay. I think. So I, we need to do like undefendable damage. Yeah. Because uh, that that red is awful. Um, I will do. How this. many? Oh, did I roll two defense dice for her before? 
I must have. Yeah. yeah, I think so. That's awful. I think I'm going to actually spend two to transfer this cleanse to you so you can get rid of that persistent okay. whenever you feel like it. Cool. Nine, eight, seven. Because I can always uh, do get cleanse. more. Yeah. And I will spend three, six, five, four to upgrade this ability. Now, it's you take the difference. Oh, when really? you're uh, when you're upgrading from two to three, you take this this minus this. So it's just one. One. Mm -hmm. One. Okay, not bad. Six. All right. So let's see what that one does. Yep. All right. So oh. I can re-roll it, and it adds an extra defense, and it adds um, okay an extra cool. damage. No, no damage, but that's okay. The fact that I can re-roll it is nice. And I'm gonna roll. All right. She still has 30. I cannot believe on two reds she just negates everything. On one red. She rolls wow. two dice and on one on one six. If one of those two dice are sixes. So she has a one in six chance on two different dice to roll. Eesh. Okay. Undefendable damage. Okay. I am going to... Hold on. I need to rethink my strategy because this is now a liability. I need to do undefendable. Okay. I'm going to actually re-roll these three. Hmm. Mm. We'll roll it again. This is well, that was a large straight. Was it? Two, three, four. I saw it. It was two, three, yeah, four. Yeah, it still does not do undefendable damage. Uh, all right, it's up to you. Yeah, it is a thing. I'll I mean, it's a one. In... Okay. Damn it. Okay, it's fine. Um, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? I can either holy smite maybe. I can either do this or I can do this using a card. Hmm. I would say that the damage. I mean. But then again, she has that stupid persistent thing, and I think cleanse is really helpful for her. I have, I mean, yeah, it's up to you, but... Let, let's do, let's do Holy Smite. Save There's a chance C you'll get it. Yeah, save my CP. Okay. Because I have a thing. All right, so... So you roll four dice. Four dice. Wow. That's eight undefendable damage. Eight undefendable damage. So okay. she's down to 22. My gosh, that couldn't have gone any better. That was good. All right. Now she does not attack back with the defense because she isn't, yeah, it's undefendable damage. Okay. But she now will attack you, yes. and us, because collateral crap. <laughs> All right. Uh, she needs reds. She got one mm -hmm. red. She needs at least two. Nope. No. Okay, here's the thing. Because she whiffed, she is going to spend a king's okay. hand token for the possibility of going again. Okay. So she's going to spend this, and if I remember right, um, page nine. Uh, where are we at here? Okay. So, b -b 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 boss roll... Okay, so it's going to spend, it, it it can spend a maximum of one per turn, and successful rolls are four to six. So what's going to happen is um, she's going to roll a die, mm -hmm. and on a four to six, it is successful. Ooh. It oh. is successful, which means... She rolls again. Um, gives them another offensive roll. See scenario card to determine successful roll value. Oh, for the current mission? Oh, it says four to six. Okay. So what happens now? Um, remove any non-persistent negative status effects. Uh, non-persistent. A mine. Uh, I don't think these are persistent. So, so for removes, everybody? No, for her. Oh, okay. Remove any non-persistent negative status effects that would normally be removed at the end. Oh, it normally be removed at the end of the... These would not be removed at the end of the roll phase. Barb, vine, and tangle. Okay, so these stay. 
because these would not be removed at the beginning. These are persistent because these will not be removed at the end of her turn. They, they stick with her until I decide to detonate them. Mm. Um, then World Chaos die. Okay, she did that. Okay, so she gets another offensive roll phase. So she is going to roll again to try and do more damage. So here we go. Nothing. And she doesn't keep that first roll, right? No. What do you mean keep the first the, roll? The, no. Like the one red? No. She, it's a completely new roll phase. I see. Two, which is three collateral damage. So we each take three damage. Um, do we defend it? It's collateral, so it's undefendable. But um, it is avoidable? It's avoidable. I'm just going to take the three damage. I'm mm -hmm. down at 21. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. I've got salves in case I need them. Mm, I keep forgetting to use one of my cards. It's so annoying. All right. All right, I'm good. You good? Yeah, can I see your pamphlet real quick? I'm just curious. All right. Um, with that said, I guess I will go. Okay, how am I going to do this? Well, first of all, uh, CP and a card. And roll for this. Are you going to detonate your nanites? I will in a minute. Sorry. Three. All right. Um, so my nanobot... I need that back. Yeah, go ahead. You may activate this bot during your upkeep phase. Upon activation, detonate all nanites. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to detonate them, and that deals five damage. Um, oh, uh, during upkeep phase, a player rolls one die per nanite they are afflicted with. So she should have rolled three dice to see if any of those would have gotten removed. One of them did. Okay. These, I forgot to rule for her upkeep. Mm -hmm. She could have removed, and she did remove one. Um, okay, so maybe I just keep them on her and try and get another nanite on there. And then do a bunch of damage next time. Because it's only three damage if I detonate them now. But it's it says it's... I think that nanite damage is lumped in with... Um... Mm -mm -mm. All damage dealt during... Okay, no, it is cumulative. Okay, so if I detonate these now, that gets added to whatever damage that you I've applied. inflicted this mm -hmm. turn. Mm -hmm. So I would need to do like... Yeah. A lot. Mm -hmm. I need to do a lot more damage. <laughs> All right, what did I pick up? Bye bye Remove a status effect token. Well, I've got your cleanse. Yeah, there you go. Um, I'll just... No, actually, I need to get rid of a card so I don't discard. So I'm going to use this for 2 CP to get rid of actually i'll use your cleanse for one and this one for the other one mm -hmm. there you go so you get your cleanse back mm -hmm. and that weather goes away yep and you spend your two cp for that yeah thing all right anything else a lot of these are combat rules which is unfortunate okay um, yes, so I rolled for that, and I'm going to roll now. I need undefendable damage of some kind. I guess I'll leave those man I saw in there until I can inflict them. 66624. Um, I, yeah, I know. I'm, I have a card that, yeah, I'm going for it. I've got a lot of cards that let me re-roll and different things like that. Mm -hmm. I've got samesies, so I can change one immediately to a six, and I can do an additional roll if I need to. So here we go. Give me some sixes. Nope. Give me some sixes. One Woo! six. There we go. Okay. Is your ultimate? Yes. Well, she may block it with her last mm -hmm. token, but at the very least, I could use that. Okay. So I'm gonna use um, perform additional roll attempt up to five dice. Mm. I can try and re-roll this one for a six. I might do that. To try and get a six naturally. No, I'll keep it in case I need it for later. I'm going to use Samesies. I thought Ultimus, you can never, ever defend it. That's the ex her. She has this. That's the exception. Really? You're thinking of old school Dice Throne. These, they're, these activate in one of two ways. Either they whiff or someone gets an ultimate. 
In which case, uh -huh. she will make you re-roll a die if she's successful. Oh, I see, I see, I see, okay. It's their way of cheating. I see. Samesies uh, is one CP. I'm going to make that a six. And I have to hope that they, it's a 50-50 shot. You have to use your CP? Uh, I thought I did. No, you didn't. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I'm also going to spend two CP immediately to draw two cards, or three cards. Okay. So, because I, I need something that may prevent them from, let's see, change the value of any one die. Ooh, yes. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes, yes. okay. I don't know if I can use it on that, but I'm, I'm going to assume I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so she is going to roll. I forget the values. Uh, a successful activation. Two, not successful activation. She does not get to use this. My ultimate kicks in. Um, gain two synth. One, two. Inflict nanite, which is great for next coming up. Deal un 10 undefendable damage. Then activate up to two bots. <laughs> All right, well, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to activate my shock bot as regular, and then I can activate up to two different bots as normal. Um, I'm going to activate Nanobot and my other shock bot. Wow. So here's what's going to happen. Three damage, three damage. This is These are my two shock bots. Yeah. And then this one is my Nanobot. This one does five damage when I detonate my nanites. So five, three, and three is 11. So you can do three bots at the same time? I, That's crazy. Okay, here's the thing. Yeah. I can activate shock bot once normally on my turn. So here's that three. This ultimate is saying, now activate two different bots, ignoring normal activation wow, protocols. That's so so cool. shock bot again, yep. nanobot. Wow. So three, six, plus five, because I'm going to detonate these. Yeah. That's 11. Plus 11 three. plus 10 is uh, 21. So oh, I do yeah. 21 undefendable damage, and she's <laughs> down to, to one health point. Nice. So you just need to finish her off. But I mean, I can't get any better than that. That was so good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can I add anything else to that to make it even worse? Uh, I don't think I can. No, I can't add I anything. I could use this. What is it? Uh, roll one die, and on a squiggly, it adds three yes, damage. Yes, that adds. Right. Yeah, why not? So uh, we can, it's a 50, 50, for you. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Six gain. Holy presence. Ooh, that's actually not bad for you. What does that do? That gives you one, um, undefendable damage every single turn forever. It's a unique, oh, deal. Okay. During their upkeep phase, they play with this to, oh, deals one damage to all of their opponents. Yeah. Why don't you, oh, does that come to me? Yeah. It goes to you cause I use this card on you. Oh, during their, a player with this token deals one damage to all of their opponents. This token may not be transferred by any means, cannot be... Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. We're almost at the end anyway. That's fine. So that goes into your discard. Yes. Uh, all right. So now she does not do a defensive roll because... Yeah. Uh, I, she that attack was, I, you? She will attack. Yeah, okay. Fine. So here's that. <sighs> One, red. One red, and now we need to get more... Nope, and no. So now she rolls for this, and it is a three. It does not activate, so she does no damage. Okay. Even on a one red, wow. Yeah, it's just she needs two red. Okay. All right, just finish her off. Oh, yeah. CP. CP. Get a card. Ah. Okay, fine. No, I spent these, so these are gone. Okay. I thought I want to do my ultimate. I know it's a little overkill, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, with 20 minutes left of battery. Sorry. All right. Uh, let's just do... Um, just get some undefendable damage in there. You, I'm you trying. It off. I'm trying. Uh, I need either one of these. While you're doing that, I'm going to clean this up and prep for... Because we're going to win this. <laughs> Maybe. We are. I mean, there's no way she can win at this point. Green flight deal six regular damage, but on a one red she can just um, she 
She has one health left, huh? One health. You know what? You'll probably fin finish her off with the Holy Presence. So, I might just do this one. Deal six regular damage and gain flight. Okay. So now she rolls... Um, unless I try again. For, well, for Holy Command. I have one reroll left. Oh, man. You know what? Let's do it. I'm curious. <laughs> oh, I did it! All right. Four undefendable damage. And heal one. Heal one. All right. Oh She's gosh. dead. She can't possibly attack back. That was lucky. We roll a loot die. Roll a loot die. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fifteen. Five. All right. So according to the loot chart, a 15 for me is a rare. And what was yours? Mine is a common. Common. Oh, did I put these in the wrong one? I did. One second, I put the epics. Yeah, that's an epic. Okay, so I get a rare, which is there. And you get a common? Yes. Um, and that goes here. I have a question. This says unidentified. Does that mean these last ones? All are of them, yes. All of are, them are unidentified, yeah. Oh, including the last ones? Because it looks like it was like a tracker. No, they're all unidentified loot cards. Maybe it, that's any cards that you earn during the run are unidentified. Per the rule book. Okay. Do it's not a tracker thing. It just it looks like it. I know it looks like it, but it's not. All right. All right. <laughs> Any loot cards that you gain during your run are unidentified. All right, the only ones that are visible is what's going to happen now. Okay. So we've concluded the scenario by beating her. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen now is this is our little store. And mm -hmm. upon conclusion, we're going to each resolve this individually. Yes. Um, where's the scenario? Uh, victory. Shop gains three common. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And one rare. Mm. Okay, so this is going to be for you. Oh, really? So okay. these are available for you. These are the commons, and this is the rare. Okay. Um, you can spend, you've got, you round this 28 gold up to the nearest five, like 30. So it's, this 28 becomes 30. And now you've got 30 gold to spend. These cost you 10 each. This costs you 15. Okay. To identify your cards, 10. 10, 10, yes. Um, let me see real quick i know that this one's the rare mm -hmm. it's on the bottom too it should say rare ah oh so this the little, one's the rare the purple one. yeah the, the yeah. this one here says I see. rare on the bottom come if you play with conclusion you are chosen to make me re-roll up to two dice during your oh some of those will replace cards in your deck and while you're doing that i'm going to deal mine out Ooh. And I have 30 gold to spend. So this rare is receive. Now, you can also sell these cards that are unidentified for five apiece. For five apiece? So you could sell these two commons, for example, to give yourself an extra 10 mm -hmm. to put toward whatever's in the shop. Interesting. Um, receive three damage. A chosen hero gains one salve. Three, three. Mm, no. <laughs> Search your deck for any card and put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. That's three CP. Change the value of any one die. I like that. So wild too. I think that's a replacement though. Yeah, it's just, that's a replacement uh, for an existing, but it's still really good. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna buy that one for 10. Gain to evasive. That could be helpful. And I had a rare here that I want to identify. Mm -hmm. So I think what I'm gonna do is 10, 10, and 10. There's my, there's my gold. Okay. Uh, so this common goes back. <sighs> okay. And I keep these. So, uh, okay, so identify this. Choose a salve on the map and collect it. Or look at the boss's next three cards and put them back in the same order face up. Now the boss is going to be for like, 
Um, that, that's going to be for the boss phase coming up. So that, that could be very useful. Mm -hmm. Elven boots and so wild. Now, because there's a little arrow thing on the bottom there, that means I have to find the so wild one and replace it. So I have to go through my deck now. Uh, twice as wild. Helping hand. So wild. There it is. So I have to take this card out of my deck and it gets replaced with So Wild 2. And the rest just come in here as upgrades. And that will be my new deck. Like all the cards now. There's three extra cards I just acquired will be my new deck. This one I'm going to put off to the side until the end of the campaign. It is no longer going to be used. Um, I just have to make sure not to lose it because this is for the Artificers. I'll put it back in his box. I think that's going to be the safest way. Did you decide on what you want? Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to identify my epic card for 10 gold. Okay. So wait, did you do your thing? I did mine already. You did, You spent your 30? I spent my 30. Okay. I'm going to identify for 10 gold this... Is that a rare or a legendary? It's an epic. A epic. At the conclusion of the current roll phase, begin an additional roll phase. 5 CP. Wow. But you get to roll twice, basically. Crazy. Okay. So if you want to take an extra turn and get some oomph. Yeah. So that's... That was 10. So you have 20 left. Okay. Bless you. Sorry, I'm going to buy this for 15. Okay, so you've got 5 left. Yes. So... You can sell a card yeah, and I come know. back up to 10. And then this is... Fifth, unless you want to identify. Um, I'm going to. So you've got five. Sell. Left. I'm gonna sell this. All right. This for, isn't. Okay. You're gonna sell something. that. What was it? Can I see? <laughs> Golden roll. A chosen hero may put an ability card from their hand into play for free. Wow. Okay. And I have ten left now, right? Yeah. Okay. So, kind of want to buy this one. I really like this one. This is like CP management, which I'm mm, always so Gain bad. three gold. If you play during a boss battle, gain two CP and draw a card instead. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'll do that. And then... Um, this just gets sold for five. For five. So you have five gold. So now, these gold. do not get sold because yeah. they're in the shop. Yeah. You don't. You can only sell cards that, that you've collected. I, yeah. Right. So this was distribute two CP among heroes. Oh, that was a good card. Dang. Uh -huh. Oh, well. You might get it next time, who knows. Maybe. So now these three new cards for you will now go into your deck. Now, are any of those upgrades to existing cards? No, no, no. Okay, so you don't have to go looking through your deck. One of them is equipment. Oh, so the way equipment works, whenever it gets drawn and you pay the cost, it's it stays out next to your board permanently mm -hmm. uh, for the rest of that run. Yeah. Which is really nice. Awesome. You can have a total of two equipment at a time. Interesting. At least out in the thing. But now for scenario two, all of this is going to be reset. We'll have new starting health. Mm -hmm. The salves will carry over, but our deck does carry over. Okay. Um, so all of this will be redone. So what did you think of this? Did you enjoy it? I really did like it. Um, it's a little overwhelming. It's it's very meaty. <laughs> yeah. It's very meaty. Especially with like all the abilities. The only thing I wish... I wish the, the tokens were kind of like shared, like status effect tokens. Um, mm -hmm. Like I wish you could transfer free, freely, mm -hmm. but I thought it was going to be like the players are going to be like merged into one giant, like, I don't know. Well, in, in the boss battle, our health pool is shared. Yeah. But during this run, the, during the dungeon crawls, scenarios one, three, five, and seven, yeah. separate health pools and everything. During boss battles, two, four, six, and eight, mm -hmm. those are shared health pools. Yeah. Okay. Just as an FYI. Yeah. It's just tough because um, sometimes I don't want certain status effects. I wish I could give it to you more easily. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's but, okay. I still think we so did fairly well for our first time. Are we keeping stuff uh, together or are we separating? What do you mean separating? To put it, to put it away. Well, no. We're going to do the boss next. Okay. Not cool. today, but yeah. we're going to just leave everything there and I'll clean up and set up for scenario two for later. So these three cards are now in my deck. Yes, they are now in your deck. And everything is shuffled? Yes, everything is shuffled. Including our abilities? Yes. You lose that. You reset everything. That hurts. That hurts. Mm -hmm. What about our health and our CP? That's going to be set for us for the next scenario. Interesting. You'll see. Okay. 
All right, so uh, any thoughts before we... I mean, I liked it. It was. It ran a little long than I would have liked. But other than that, I, I still thought it was pretty fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really yeah. enjoyed it. I would, I would do this again. But again, there's we still have seven more scenarios to get through. Ooh, okay. And it, it turned out we really didn't need the extra health. Yeah. We, we, we took an extra... What was it? We started this... We were supposed to start the scenario with 18 health. We started, we started with 25, mm -hmm. so that's an extra seven health. Mm -hmm. To take seven minus this, that's what we would have had. So we would have beat the scenario without the help. Yeah. I My lowest was with the default rules would have been 11. 11. That so you, you, would have, you would have had four left without the help. Yeah. Because seven minus, seven minus 11 is four. No, 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 no. I already did the math. 11 would have been my oh, lowest oh, 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 oh. with the default. I see. Mm-hmm. All right, folks. Well, that was Dice Throne Adventures. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Adelie. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all next time. Bye, guys.